Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I am Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, we've had a morning this morning. Wait till you see the colour of Janice's hair. You will not have seen Janice's hair this colour before. She looks fabulous. She looks fantastic. I can't tell you. Um, also, uh, my screen's been playing up again, but Elliot's just come out in, in his grumpy old mood and fixed it for me. But it could go on and off, on and off. So I'm thinking I might stay on the big table all day today and have Janice on the little table here. Um, and there was something else I was going to tell you. Oh, they've still got the light on in there. I've got... Oh, no, I see. Right, OK, let's start today's early bird. Now, it's a bit unusual. I don't know what that's doing here, because that's yesterday's show. <laughs> we love Adam, but we're not having his hat on today as well. There you go, £7.99 for six tea lights. Not the real tea lights, they're run by a battery. Uh, I know. <laughs> so, now, we bought these in for when Victoria Carrington did her little houses remember our little fabric houses oh dear we're starting off with lovely coughs this morning janice has got a cough cat's got a cough uh, we've all done our it's really weird because i dreamt about it last night so i've i've done a covid test before i come in this morning before i came in this morning because i was kind of woke up in a bit of a stress uh cat's doing one right now while she's in imagine if you do it now in the gallery and it turns anyway this is not our price it's always gone at that price before we're going to take three pounds off that price. Here you go. Now, I'm going to read the back out to you in a minute. 4 99 Right, yeah, look. You see, look at this. You think, what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, I shall read the back to you here because it says, this is an LED tea light. This means that the light source is electronic diode. Electronic diode, diode, that is powered by a battery. Turn the light on and off with a puff. 
Now, I, they don't have, but they don't come with batteries in, right? They don't come with batteries in. The batteries are available on pre-order if you'd like them. Oh, come on, John. But I've got a battery now. Does it matter which way it goes in? Because I've got the plus at the top and the thingy at the bottom. A oh, plus downwards. People and my pad multiples. There's the batteries. There's the batteries on pre-order. That battery you've just given me doesn't fit, Kit. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I might need the technical department to come out. Hang on. Oh, no, it's gone in. It's in, it's in, it's in. I think your battery might be dead. Maybe the battery's in upside down. Hang on. Elliot might have to <laughs> Right, now, I need to tell you that the battery isn't the one you're going to buy. This is the one out of our lighting source. In the in the gallery, and might have, maybe it's the battery. I might have put the battery in upside down. Then hang on, hang on. Let's do it this way around. I don't know which way these batteries. No, there you go. The batteries are the wrong way around. Okay, lights down, please. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh Yay! Look, isn't that brilliant? There it says, doesn't it? Look here. Switch it off using a puff. <laughs> oh, well, it, it wouldn't even come on for you, Elliot. Four ninety nine. Oh, I love that. I didn't know that. Isn't that brilliant? Watch. Oh, there you go. You need a big puff to do it. Now, you do get six in the back. Right, oh, hang on, I'll do that that way. There you go. You need to get six in the back. Right, there you go. You get six in the pack. You do need to buy your batteries. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's Elliot's voice. There you go. You get six in the pack for 4 99 You have to buy the batteries separately, obviously. Okay, we're taking... How much are the batteries? Oh, two pounds? Can we run the batteries through in a minute then? We'll run the batteries through for you in a minute. While you're checking out, because there's loads of you there. Oh, excuse me. No, uh, Susan says, good morning, John, everyone. Darling, Derbyshire. Paula says, good morning in deep car. Uh, morning, John. And Posse says, Jill. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Susan says, looking forward to seeing Janice again. Emily says, morning. Anne says, good morning. Looking forward to Janice being on. Martina says, good morning. Donna says, good morning. Denise says, good morning. On holiday from Cork. Uh, Patricia says, good morning, John. Everyone from Blackpool. Oh, no, I haven't got any love from her today. Uh, Sue says, good morning. Claire says, good morning. I think all of your shirts are my favourites. Marina says, good morning. How are you, Marina? It's the day after the week before. Oh, hang on. Angela says, good morning. Uh, love to see you enjoying yourself. You've just made me laugh out loud. We have to, well, we have to laugh because nobody else will laugh. You know. Susan says, my grandsons will love those candles. Well, they're safe, aren't they? Uh, good morning, John and team. Little things, please, little minds. Oi, Georgina. I think they're brilliant. Yeah, I've blown it out, I've blown it out of focus, that one. Teddy. I better not be rude. Good morning, Toilet Saying Street from Teddy. I thought he was going to say something rude. Helen says, morning, John. My cats get very confused when they hear the early birds tweeting. Judith says, good morning. Morning, John. Looking lush. Hope you're as... Hang on, looking lush, hope you're as usual. You've missed a word out, haven't you? Pamela, lovely strong name that. Uh, morning, John, can't wait for long as I'm being taken out for my 75th birthday lunch. I have to get ready. Oh, Margaret, have a lovely day. On a Saturday, it's going to be busy on a Saturday, isn't it? It's not Sunday yet. It's not Sunday yet. June. Good morning, John, says June in Bridgend. Good morning. Borada. Bridgend's in Wales, isn't it? I think it is. Margaret says, morning, John. Uh, fabulous shirt. Made the tea light. That's for the cats. Um, I wonder what she means, made the tea light. Sharon says, morning, day. No, morning. Made. No, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Sharon says, morning, day to day. Sewing and relaxing for Harrogate tomorrow. 
should read mad tea light. Not made, mad tea light. Pat says, good morning, John and everyone. Watch. You just blow on it, it comes on and off. Isn't it brilliant? Uh, loads of people multi-buying. The thing is, right, you don't need... Elliot, we've done that. You don't just have to buy them for Victoria Carrington's um, houses because we've made like little... Um, Yvonne McAtamney's made, a, you know, a thing, foldy, beads, back, you know, like that, put a candle in the middle. Table centres, that's what I was looking for. Morning, Laurie. Crazy Lorraine says you're looking very slim. I'm not slim, Crazy Lorraine. It must be the shirt. I still love you from Blackpool, says Patricia. I weighed myself this morning. Um, I'm a bit lighter than I was, but nowhere near as light as I should be. No. Elliot. Do you like the picture of Elliot on the Facebook fan page? All go and have a look and have a look at it. Have you seen the pictures? I don't know if Hayley's put any pictures up actually on any public ones. Good morning, Sewing Street team. Thinking of putting my decorations and tree up today whilst watching you. Lots of love from Mandy. Mandy, loads of people. I saw, uh, as I came through Redditch uh, day before yesterday, somebody's put their Christmas tree up there. Uh, Crazy Lorraine's got her Christmas tree up. Yeah, her uh, cat's buying all Christmas decorations for a second-hand shop. Four ninety nine. Isn't that the story? Sounds lovely, because you get some lovely vintage ones, couldn't you? Good morning, John. Love the candles and you, of course. You brighten up my day. Loving your shirts from Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn, my lovely. Uh, they're 4 99 these tea lights. They've only been 7 99 in the past, right? Only been 7 99 You do need to buy the batteries. The batteries are £2, and we've just taken £3 off the price. Just so you know. Are any of us as light as we should be? No, Claire. I don't think we are, are we? Oh, Nicola's having a booster jab today. I'm having mine on Tuesday, Nicola. Good morning, John. So, Susan. There's the batteries. There's the batteries. You get a pack of six. I can't show you the, them. I can show you a picture. Batteries. Six. One in each tea light. Buy two packets. Then you've got some if they run out. Morning, gorgeous. I'm off this weekend, so I'm going to spend it with you. Oh, are you coming to my Facebook Live tomorrow as well? No, Elliot says he's not. Uh, I've only got 30 packets. Oh, no, how many have I got now? I've got 25 packets of batteries. That's it. That's all I've got. Put the candles back in. No, they're not the candles. Oh, drop the price. They weren't, we were 7 99 but we took them down. That was quick. You have to wait. Hang on. I have to wait for a minute for mine before I pour the water in. And then, and then you have to wait for, no, that it goes, no, no, because it goes to clear, then it drops down. You have to watch it for like half an hour or whatever it is, and it drops down if you're poorly. Not yet. Yeah. 4 .99. Can you wish Chloe a happy birthday? Chloe, happy birthday from Crazy Lorraine. It's not Chloe, it's not Chloe off TJC. Uh, now, Lorraine, another Lorraine says, Good morning, John, you've lost weight. Your shirt's a fabulous, full, cheerful colour. I, I haven't lost weight, I promise you. If I turn sideways, Elliot says, you can see how fat I am. Don't know what he's talking about. Says he. Says he with a belly that sits on the table. Lynn to it, says hello there, everyone. Wasn't going to order the lights until I saw your demo, them. Couldn't resist them. Oh, tell the management. <sighs> My demos are... <sighs> whatever it is. Didn't miss a word, just predicted text. Meant to say you are lush as usual. Candles are brilliant from a drizzly Port Talbot, says Pamela. Pamela says Port Talbot. I had to order them, Lynn, for my grandsons when they come to mine, says Susan. Hours of fun. <sighs> I can't do this all day because the battery that I've put in mine is the one from the gallery. They can't see what they're doing in the gallery. My decks are up. Never been up this early before, but I needed brightness. I could come round, Georgina, and be your brightness in the corner of the room. I'd be very expensive. That'd be the most expensive Christmas tree you've ever bought. Um, my, my, well, I bought my outdoor lights, my new outdoor lights. They were delivered yesterday and they took them away again. How, two years, right? I've got a great big box outside my front door where they put all the deliveries in and everything. Yesterday's driver decided to take, took a picture of them outside my front door and then left, took them away with him. So now they're delivering them again at half past 11 this morning. 
So I'll have to leave early. Lights aren't out of stock. Who said that? Waiting for my batteries to go through. Now the lights are out of stock. They shouldn't be, Anne. There's still some there. Rosie says, morning, John and Elliot. Yes, saw Elliot's picture. It's nice to put a cheeky face to a name. Uh, oh, no, she's put, sorry. Nice to put a cheeky face to a big belly. That's what she's put. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, cat's here as well. <laughs> Keep going through. And have you found them yet, my lovely? Try refreshing your box. No, not your box, your basket, sorry. Oh, come on, I've still got loads left. I mean, I started with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Oh, I'm exhausted now. It's quarter past and I'm exhausted. Have you noticed I'm not sitting down anymore? Doing the whole five hours standing up. Maybe that's where all the calories have gone. Burns calories standing up, apparently. Also, the, the stool and the desk and the cushion are all the wrong heights. So you end up pulling muscles in your cheeks. What? Oh, what's happened? Do it. Thank you. What the what, what I did, you said it was right and wrong. Oh, she's right. Cat's right. I've got a bundle come. Oh, <laughs> I've got a bundle coming up in a minute. Four ninety nine. Taking three pounds off. The batteries are only two pounds, so you can get the light and the batteries. Good morning. All this talk of Christmas decorations going up has got me tempted to do mine. Husband said, no, it's not December yet. Bar humbug, says Fiona. I agree with your husband, Fiona. Our Christmas, our Christmas tree when I was little never used to go up to about the 22nd. No. Anne says lights are okay now, but now the batteries are out of stock. Yeah, the batteries are out of stock now. One p and all day. So once you've checked out on these, that's your P&P done for for the day. So whether you come in and buy a Janice dress or a little um, storage box or you come in and buy a quilt or you buy a sewing machine or buy something. For, oh, I'll tell you, Yarn Lane today is beautiful. 4 99 Gorgeous. Right, we're moving on. Morning, John. See, I told you. You lighten up my life, says Julie. Oh, Julie, you're very kind. Julie, I got to I got to Western when I was going to Cornwall last weekend, I got to Western Superman. Thought oh, I'm nearly there. I'm saying that because Western Superman's in Somerset, isn't it? Today's menu is here. Oh. Oh. I think that's brilliant. Switches on and off. I mean, you can, if you don't want them playing, with those, there is an off button underneath. You can just switch, oh, sorry. You can switch them completely off underneath. But then when you put it on to on, you can then switch it on and off. <laughs> With a puff. Right, okay. Is it ready now? Here we go. Today's menu. New fabrics. Oh, we were supposed to change this. New fabrics and dressmaking fab. No. New fabrics and bag fabrics in the first hour. Nine o'clock, Janice is here making a children's Christmas dress. Have a look. It's all gone a bit horribly wrong today, isn't it? There it is. Funny angle. It's a funny angle he's taken that one from, isn't it? Uh, we haven't got Janice's sewing machine out or anything. Oh, oh, have you? Oh, well done. Okay. Ten o'clock, Christmas makes and offers. Don't know what's in that, huh? Le oh, yes, I do. Uh, Sally Stevens is at uh, Christmas um, pre-cuts with some... Uh, watch out. Every now and then we're going to do crashing on prices. 11 o'clock, Christmas storage boxes with Janice Hobbs. Brand new fabric. Go. We've got three bundles and we've got the, fab <coughs> the fabric in a bundle for you to buy as well. Oh, <laughs> Then at 12 o'clock, we go to Yarn Lane. Oh, look, you forgot to put Vanessa's name on the thing again. Vanessa Winwood is here doing crochet blankets. She lives in my village. She lives in my village. I know. It's like working with Emma. Anyway, Pam Minihani says, good morning. Lights are... Oh, no, hang on. Morning, John and team says Fiona. Good morning, 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 morning. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second is a Facebook Live. And then the third one is you can go to the website. Oh, look, that's a lovely message, says Julie. So it's true the other presenters can't hold the candle up to you. No, we're all, we're all good. We're all good here. We've, all, we've only got good presenters here. That's all we have. Uh, you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. New fabrics with John Scott, it says. Click on Watch Live. They're not all new. Well, they are, nearly. Um, then on the right-hand side there, there's a box you can send message to. Do you write your message? You need to be logged in to do it. Baby, you light up my world. Is that a song from Tom Jones? Like, no. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm bored. Uh, anyway, scroll down the page. There's two columns. There will be, oh, oh. There are two columns because we've already done two auctions, haven't we? So the left-hand side is the things we've shown you so far. And then on the right-hand side is pre-order. These are every single thing that we've got for the next four hours. So there's your lovely, so show me the honey fabric. Then we've got little, fat. Um, what's that one called? Uh, Tiny Tunes, Tiny Tunes by Dan Morris, no less. Then we've got Enchanted Garden. Enchanted Garden. Then we've got a bundle of PUs. Oh, Janice has already been out to buy some PU. Oh, there you go. There's the bundle, but you can buy them individually as well. Then, then, uh, then on to Janice's hour. There you go. So there's the, there's the, there's the not that she's not making that pattern. She's making the other pattern that you just saw there. Um, then, now these fabrics, you've already got, now that price is with the 20% off. So don't us don't expect us to drop any lower. That is the lower price, twenty nine ninety six for th two and a half meters. Oh no, Elliot! Tell he's gone. Two and a half meters of uh, fabric. I oh, know two and a half. I love that one. That gold liberty make a lovely skirt out of that. There it is. Uh, anyway, carry on down the page. Well, it's in a right old mood now. There's Sally Stevens' um, tree skirt. Then we've got... Now, for some reason, in the middle of Sewing Street, we've got a crochet Father Christmas. He's gorgeous, but his crochet doesn't belong in Sewing Street. <clears throat> then we move on. This is all the Christmas deals and bundles and everything that we've got for you. Delphine's cow. No, it's not new. Moda, Liberty, there, there, there's Janice's boxes. Now you don't make all three, you're getting a free pattern along with the fabric. You can make one out of each bundle. Oh, I don't know why it says makes two, because Janice says you can't make two, you can only make one. I don't know why they put makes two in there. Anyway, so that's the end of Sewing Street. Thank you, Elliot. That's in Sewing Street. And then we go to Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. Do you want to see Yarn Lane? You must do because they're beautiful. The blankets. The blankets for Yarn Lane are beautiful. There's the Yarn Lane website. Now, we'll have a different show on it. Look, it's got me doing... Oh, it's yesterday's. Yesterday's show on there now. Uh, click on uh, Watch the Live Show. There you go. And underneath, look at these beautiful blankets. Look at that one. So, uh, Vanessa's going to be showing you how to make the blanket and the cushion. And that's in one bundle. That's cotton and bamboo, that one. And then look at this one. Oh, I love that. We've got the kit to make that blanket as well. And it's suitable for beginners, believe it or not. If you've not watched Yarn Lane before, maybe today's the day. Vanessa's gorgeous. Vanessa's absolutely beautiful. She lives in my village. And that's not, why, that's not what makes her beautiful. Because obviously the village hasn't got all beautiful people in it. Anyway, shall we start? I think I've done everything now. Right, PU bundle. Oh, I haven't. We've done it, Elliot. <laughs> yeah. PU fabric bundle. Cats put this together for you. You get half a metre of your gold, half a metre of your elephant, half a metre of your black, half a metre of your chocolate, half a metre of your navy, half a metre of your wine. You get half a metre of all that. That is your bundle. That is your bundle. Now, let me show you how wide this fabric is because it's a lovely width. 
It's now it's called PU leather. Oh, don't you haven't put leather on the description? It's called PU leather. There's no leather in it. It's look polyester and viscose and PU. Forty-one ninety-four for your three meters, but this is already cut. So if you buy this, if you buy two of these, you'll get two lots of half meters of everything. Just so you know. Oh, we're going to crash. Uh, Anne says, John, you are all one big lovely family. Oh, Anne, I wouldn't say that. Good morning, John. You always brighten my day, says Jeanette. Sheila Shah says, good morning. Hilary says, good morning, John. Watching you making teddy bears. Margaret says, morning, John, Cat and Elliot. Just getting ready to go off Christmas shopping. That was Margaret I was telling you about. She only got three left to get. I haven't even made a list. Um, half a metre off. Half a metre off. Right, Elliot wants to see all the different colours. All right, Elliot, just being difficult because they've got plastic bags in them. What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? No, tell me. Be honest with me now. You can open up to me, Elliot. Don't you worry. Look. Elliot wants to see all the colours, you see. Now, remember, because we've crashed the price, it will go back up at midnight tonight on Saturday. Now Elliot wants to buy it. Elliot's already got this hot for hot pants. He'd need more than half a metre then. Morning, John. Clearing out the spare room today because I've ordered the Moxie. Oh, and did you get it in time? Did you get it in time? It was because the, the offer ran out on Tuesday, didn't it? Well done. Well done. You'll love it. £34.95. What's the matter? Did you make a VT? Kay says, good morning, John, from the USA. Kay's in America. She says, good morning, everybody. It can't be morning there, though, can it? Or it'd be one o'clock in the morning. Well, it depends which bit of America she's in, I suppose. If you're in California, it'd be one o'clock in the morning. If you're in New York, I suppose it'd be about three o'clock in the morning, will it? Uh, we've taken half a metre off that price, just so you know. Gold, grey, black, brown, blue, wine. Now, remember, they're already pre-cut. So if you buy two of these, you'll get two of those, 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 two of those. Uh, Lorraine, I've just got yours to get done, all family and friends. Oh, crazy, Lorraine. I haven't even thought about Christmas yet. Kat and I aren't doing presents this year. Biscuits. Gluten-free biscuits you bought me last year, all wrapped up lovely in chiffon. Thirty-four What's the matter? Why? I remember all the presents all the people buy me. Elliot, let me just think of all the presents you've bought me now, Elliot. Nothing. Have I bought you anything? I bring you happiness every day, Elliot. Thirty-four ninety-five. Look, beautiful. Right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on because it's twenty-five past already. Keep going through that. I can always come back to it. I can always come back to it. What's the matter? Oh, we can do it by the half meter now. Which one are we doing first then? This is our jet. Starting with wine. As Elliot normally does. There you go. See, Janice has already bought hers. Oh, we shouldn't say that. Right, hang on. I thought you could put up Janice's name and address then. You can buy the bundle where you get half a metre of each, but if you buy it like this, you're buying it by the half metre. If you buy three metres, it will come as a three metre piece. I have got an iPad. <clears throat> we can do it. At, we do it at Jewelry Maker. I don't. I haven't got that. I haven't got a sign in for that. Mm. 
No, no, I am. When I first started, Hayley was going to give me a, a, not a postcode, what's the word, password. Indigo. I don't know if I've got moisturiser on my hands. You won't get this one at home. Cut off the bolt for you. Good morning, John. A bit dull in Camden today. Going to Kentish Town for some lovely breakfast this morning. Oh, uh, have a great day. Karen, you know my friend Karen McGiffin lives in Kentish Town, don't you? And next to Pizza Express. 6 99 I'll finish that one. Okay, now I'm going to Brown. That's a lovely rich chocolate brown, that one, isn't it? Ooh, blimey. Uh, you know football today, Karen? No, up the Arsenal today. 6 99 Oh, England to play. What, in football or rugby? In Twickenham. Ooh, blimey. See, when I say Twickenham, on, on Twickenham days, you had to get your shopping done either before the match started, long time before the match started, or... Um, as soon as it started, dash into town, get your shopping and dash back home again. Has the PU got stretched for a skirt? Love Mandy. Right, Mandy. I know people who have made out of a skirt, uh, my skirt out of it, look. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of stretch, look. Kat says, um, she's made one. It, it fitted her bottom beautifully. Stretched it a bit, but looks lovely. 6 99 for half a metre. Yeah. Grey. Beautiful. That's like an elephant grey, isn't it, that one? Elliot's not grey. And then, this is Elliot. Elliot's got hot pants made out of this one. Well, he did have when we first met him, but he can't. He can only fit one leg into them now. What? What? Oh, he only wears them at my house. He says. Is that why they're in my, in the bottom drawer? What? Now the whole bundle. You could get the whole bundle. Look at, at where you save half a meter. You get six half meters. Uh, you only pay for five. Beautiful. Now, is this new or is this the one that Delphine made? Okay, so look. No, I think, I think we had a lot of it. Delphine didn't have all these. So this is a bundle of Show Me the Honey. Uh, now this was inspired by the conservation of honeybees. It sh uh, the collection shows off the warm, rich amber tones found in honey, along with the classic black, white and grey. Included in the group are fabric blocks with bee inspiration as well as honeycombs, bees, flowers and honey pots. Let's pay homage to our honeybees by creating beautiful quilts in their honour. Designed by Janice Gaynor. Now, if there weren't for bumblebees, we would not be here. Fact. 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 58.99. Oh, Peach Express is long gone. That's it. Last time I was in Kentish, it shows how long ago I've been in Kentish Town. Last time I went to Kentish Town, I met her, I met Carol, uh, Carol Vorderman, not Carol Vorderman, Carol McGuffin in Pizza Express. Oh, they're in Liverpool, Arsenal today. Right, which? None. Let's have a look. Kat's saying if she wants to make a bag and she wants to line it with this, we could use the grey, the black, or the gold, yeah. They're the three I'd use, maybe. Or the work, green. I haven't got any green. No, not wine. That's your whole bundle. That's your whole bundle. You see, now, don't be expecting crashes. Go through, go through, go through. Uh, we're only surprising you with crashes. Not everything gets a crash on it. But I have said that, 58.99 for four metres of designer fabrics. Rather gorgeous, isn't it? So that's the whole bundle. That's where we've cut you half a metre of each fabric, right? But now you can buy it by the half metre.
You mean honeycomb? Yeah. My right, honeycomb on black, first of all. Now, a lot of you did that quilt that Delphine did. Maybe you want to remake it because we didn't, we couldn't get the fabric back straight away. It looks very busy, that from a distance, doesn't it? From a distance. Bees, now, and bees are always in fashion. Never go, if you think about it, all the um, royal brides that have had bees embroidered on their dresses or on their veils. Um, what's the name? Uh, this is a sign of Man isn't it a sign of Manchester, the bumblebee? And uh, also Lucy Brennan, she uses bumblebees a lot in all of her designs. Beautiful, isn't it, that? There are honeybees there by Janice Gaynor. 7.49 for half a metre. Now, this is where you can buy, if you want three metres, you can buy three metres in one piece. Morag sitting in the car waiting to... Waiting to get into set up at the market. Bit late to be setting up a market, more a couple of state. Uh, hi John, what a lovely treat to tune in today. Lots of lovely fabric and you. Oh dear, I've been in all week and I'm in tomorrow. But then, but then after tomorrow, you don't see me all the way through the week until next Friday and next Saturday. I'm only in two days next week. Next fabric. I'll do the yellow version of that one, shall I? Or the honey version of that one. I think I like this one better. There you go. Good morning, John. I'm glad I finished my sewing. Uh, you've not been sewing, Alan, all night long again, have you? Seven pounds and 49 pence. Lovely, seven pounds 49, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. 7.49. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know if I'd make a little girl's dress out of that. All the bees, it'll be buzzing around you, wouldn't it? Shall I do, what shall I do next? Uh, let's do honey, is it honey in jars. Most popular, this one on pre-order. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the pots. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. I wonder if Derek's up yet. Oh no, we, we miss his Monday night sing-alongs, don't we? Well, he's got three pantos to rehearse for. Right, this is nice. This is lovely, this one, because this one could be like a vintage um, fabric, couldn't it? Fabric print. What sewing needle do we use with PU? Right, do not use a leather needle. Uh, Janice was asking this earlier. I would just use a brand new 12 or 14. That's what I'd use. Alan, go to bed. You'll make yourself poorly if you don't get sleep. Oh, hang on. What's that? What's that called? So that one's called Show Me the Honey in Yellow Flor... Isn't that meant to say floral? Not florel. Florella. Oh, I can't get over the adverts for that House of Gucci. Doesn't it look brilliant? It's a film with um, Lady Gaga in it. Oh, it looks, she, I, I, wonder, I bet she wins an Oscar for it. Yeah, she's, oh, she's brilliant. She what, sorry? This is sunflowers in grey. On grey, I should say. Not underlay, it's not underlay. It's 100% cotton, quilting weight, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Next one is a grey background with honey pots. Um, now, this, these are, uh, isn't this called a sklep? <laughs> sklep, sklep. This, isn't that, isn't that a sklep or a schlep? Or a kelp? Yeah. I can't remember what it's called now. This is called, well, no, it's not a hive. It's definitely not a hive. 
And I don't know where the honeycomb... Oh, there's the honeycomb. Yeah. <laughs> Doop. <laughs> hang on. Grey honeycomb. Oh, hang on. Yeah. So what? It's a clep or a kelp or a schlep or something like that. Skep. Skep. Thank you, Margaret. Moving on. Oh, now I didn't see I had this. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, that's my bad. It's very fresh, this one. This would be nice having your kitchen, this one, wouldn't it? Now I was thinking of like tea towels and things like that. Yeah, these cottons you can make a tea towel out of. Give it a good wash first so it gets absorbent. The only thing, Elliot, about it is you it would only be one-sided. That's the only problem, whereas your tea towels are normally double-sided, aren't they? You could uh, you could uh, bag it out if you want to, but then it's a bit be a bit difficult to wipe your things with. Gorgeous. Can someone tell me what needle to use to sew cork with? I did ask where the cork was aired, but got no answer. <gasps> Kate, that won't have been me, will it? Was that me? I don't think so. I think everyone just uses a normal needle, just a straightforward whatever you got. Not a very super fine one, but a normal needle. 10 or a 12. <coughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Now, there are little bumblebees on there, look. Little flashes of yellow there. Well, there's about floral right this time. Let me just put that there. Beautiful. Uh, remember, I've got the bundle of all of that, if you'd like the bundle, where you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. There you go. 58 99 Karen's saying your shirt is lovely, John. Thank you, Karen. Right, uh, if you want a taster of those fabrics, for some reason I've got this little, maybe we made them for an, oh no, no, hang on. No cat, they're different. I haven't got any of those fabrics in this bundle. This is left over from the Delphine project, this one, I think. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter. Same range, but not, we didn't have those available by the half metre, look. Alan's going to have three days rest now, Kat, so we're all right. You're welcome, Kate. What's the matter? 11.99 for three fat quarters. It's four pounds each, isn't it that? Four pounds each. Well done, moving on. Oh, that's the end of that range. Linda, do you know Linda in Portuguese means more than beautiful? Loving this collection of fabrics, John. You always brighten my day. Linda, in, oh, she's Mrs. Suffolk. Hello, Linda, Mrs. Suffolk. How are you? Now I've got two other, I've got two other fabric ranges. Now I've got 20 minutes. I've got to launch two brand new fabric ranges. Enchanted Garden first. Oh, these are lovely. The colours are beautiful. Look, let me get those in shot for you. Oh, look, they've got love written on that one. Right, hang on a sec. Let's see if I've got any of these. That goes with that one. That one goes with that one. That one goes with that one. Oh, right, there we go. Beautiful. That's your signature, your main fabric there. Then you've got this one in blue, green and peppermint. You've got this one in, um, I don't want to say orange, I want to say coral and aqua. Then this one you've got in your lime and your uh, coral. Oh, 
and then blue and blue and then that one you've got your yeah, isn't they lovely so the bundle 76 pounds and 89 pence you get five and a half meters of fabric 11 fabrics Eleven, yeah, eleven fabrics. Do you know what we're supposed? To, shouldn't we take half a meter off that? Go on then. Sixty nine ninety nine. Now, because she's crashed, it, it'll go back up at midnight tonight. Beautiful, aren't they? 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Look at this one. This would make, you know the dress that Adam did yesterday? That'd be lovely as that dress, wouldn't it look? It says, a curated collection by Donna Robson of Fabric Cafe for QT Fabrics. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Do you know what? You can make a that all could almost be a Gucci blouse, couldn't it? Talking of Gucci esque. Sixty nine ninety nine. Now, 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 now. When I put my telly on yesterday, uh, it comes because I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I thought it was the final this week, but it wasn't. It's obviously, um, can I watch Di uh, What's the latest Bond film? Um, whatever it's called, right? Can I watch it on my telly? There was an advert for it on the telly. I think I could, I have to pay for it, obviously, wouldn't I? But I think I can watch it on my telly. Is that right? If you had some of my what, Elliot? I might have what? Oh, well, it was on mine. I'll look tonight when I get in and I'll tell you. Do you want to come round and watch it, Elliot? Oh. Very bohemian, isn't it, this range? Beautiful. Oh, she's going to, he's going to watch rugby tonight. But you'll, I'll tell you, I can tell you the score, I'll text you the score later. Now you won't be able to watch it live. What time's it on? No, because we'll still be here at 3.15 waiting for the trolley. Okay, we're doing this by the half meter now. Oh, 6 a half meter these. That's good. I love this one. Very bohemian. Oh, it's just a trailer, is it? Are you sure? Are you sure, Jill? Morning, gorgeous. We haven't got you for a week. I'm going to make the most of you and not lift a finger till one o'clock from Julian. So, well, Friday, Friday, I can't give too much away, but Friday's Black Friday. And then Saturday, next Saturday, I've got Delphine in. Well, I'm not going to say what we're doing, am I? I've got no guests on Friday, but I can't tell you that. But you know, we always have amazing deals on Black Friday, don't we? Live and let die? No, not live and let die. It, what was it called? What was this year's called? No time to die. It's available for 16. Oh, there you go. 15.99. Oh, no. Well, if Elaine buys it, it costs 16.99. But Ghislaine says it's 15.99. Oh, it's a lot of money. How much is a ticket to cinema ticket these days? About the same. Maybe I'll watch it at home then rather than go to the cinema. I'll just sit and watch it on my own then, Elliot, if you're not coming round. You can watch it, John, on the Big River Channel. Oh, I haven't got that, though. I went to see James Bond last night. Not going to spoil it. Oh, Lane, I'm not even going to read the rest of that out. Six ninety nine. Next one. Beautiful, gorgeous fabrics, these, aren't they? So that's the main print one. Let's do some of the others now. So I've got this one here now. Holiday. Terracotta, I might call that one, actually, rather than... I don't know what colour we've called it. <laughs> Imagine if you did blush that colour. Anyway, we've called it blush. I don't know why. Peaceful flowers. <laughs> On blush. 
I wonder what she called it. No name on the salvage. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Gorgeous. 6 99 half metre. I've been saying to you for months, haven't I, about the cost of fabric's going to go up. I've got to get a move on. Look, it's quarter two. Right, then I've got it in the, what colour have they called this one? Turquoise. Enchant. Peaceful flowers on turquoise, that one's called. 6 99 for half a metre. You know what to do. Oh, Suzanne, controversial. I hate James Bond. Mm. Hate's a very strong word, Suzanne. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yep. Okay, let's do this blender one now, which again is in the turquoise and the blush. Six ninety nine for half a metre, remember? Carol says good morning. Good morning, Carol. Blue one first, you say? Yeah, turquoise. I quite like this one. I don't not quite. I do like this one. No, no, but for a blend for a blender, normally you're going, oh yeah, I can see why they put that in, but that's nice standing on its own, isn't it? Jan, Jan's obviously awake. I forgot to wake her up, didn't I? She thinks she's obviously not got her glasses on because she said that Elliot's a handsome lad. I only need to watch a film. Amy's coming. Six ninety nine. Leafy stripe. So what? It's on the telly at three o'clock, is it? The rugby. Oh, what? Well, 3.15 to be precise. Yeah, but you'll want to have a few bevies before the kickoff. Morning, John. May I ask, please do you have a sewing machine bag enough to put my Elna 680 in when I'm storing it from Veronica? Veronica, I don't think we do. Do Oh, no, Veronica, we do. It's a big one, but it sits on a trolley. We haven't got one of the bag bags because that obviously it'd be a bit too big and a bit too heavy to put in a bag bag. But it does fit it. I don't think we've got it today, have we? I'll have a look for you and I might show you the picture of it on the website. Next one. Right, so I'm going to do the little flowers now that comes in green, blue and uh, blush. Blue first. This has got love, joy and peace written on it. You didn't realise when you first look at it. Looks pretty, isn't it? Yes, I'm awake, says Jan. Couldn't see the letters on my phone to type without my glasses on. Oh, all right, then. Oh, no, I won't be spoiling anything. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about Drag Race. I'm not going to, because lots of people won't have seen it. Now, Karen, you can't say that the James Bond one is the best one yet, because I didn't work on this one. You have to say, gold and I, the world is not enough, or tomorrow never dies is the best one. Next one into this one in blush. Don't be controversial about my peers. Uh, Alan, there will be bolts of fabric on the clearance page. If there's any left, they'll be on the clearance page. You like lilac? Where's lilac? I don't know where you're looking. What, this one? That one? That's navy blue. That's turquoise. That's green. That's orange. Moving on. Then we've got the green one. This is pretty. It's nice and fresh, this one. Oof. Zingy, I'd call that one. Zingy. What a what? Sure, but no, they've got the lime, they've got lime on the outside and chocolate on the inside. They're called chocolate limes, aren't they? I haven't seen those for years. You're showing your age now, Elliot. <laughs> no, you won't have seen them at my house. Then, I don't have sweets in my house. What? Three fabrics left in this range. I've got the Dan Morris to do straight after this. There you go. Swirls in action.
Aqua, this one's called Swirls in Aqua. Six ninety nine. Lime green next. Pretty, aren't they? I'm sorry I'm going so fast. I've just got so much to show you. Oh, Kate loves chocolate limes. Okay, and then one in blue. This I love this one. This one with this one, I think, would look really nice together, wouldn't they? Two patterns clashing. Look, that's nice. On the blue. Swiss. Oh, telly's gone, Elliot. Uh, Enchanted Garden Swirls on Navy, this one's called. Have you warned Janice that she'll be working on the other table today? Should be fine. Okay, moving on. Now, this fabric here, I've only got time to show you the mega bundle, but because I've only got time to show you the mega bundle, we're going to take some money. Oh, we weren't going to take any money off this one, but I'm going to do it now. Right. So this is Dan Morris, right? This is little, no, tiny, I keep saying little, tiny tunes, this one's called. Aren't they just adorable? Look, I love this one. Oh, sorry. Love that one. When we can get to it. There you go. Oh, and I love the colour of that one. They're not batiks. I don't know where Kat's seeing, seeing batik on it. She thinks it looks like batik. No. 69 99 Don't worry if you already checked out, but we've taken some money off for you. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five and a half metres of fabric for $69.99. Now, they are all available by the half metre, but you'll have to go and find them on pre-order. And in the break, Kat will put them on show tunes. Oh, no, she won't. Oh, oh, she won't, apparently. Oh, okay. Sixty nine ninety nine. Sixty nine ninety nine. Beautiful, aren't they? All available on pre order by the half meter. How much are they by the half meter? Six ninety nine for half a meter. Yes, you're right. Sorry, my bad. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Right, very quickly now. I've got to do two other things before we go for a break. Veronica, this is the bag that I think your six eighty will fit into. I have to show it by picture. I can't. I haven't got it here. There it is. There it is. Oh, Elliot's got one, apparently. Here we go. Elliot's got one. Come on then, Elliot, is that it? Is that the smaller one? Is that the large one, the small one you've got there? I don't know. How do we know the difference? I don't, th is that the large one? I don't think this is the large one. No, I don't think, that, I don't think that's the right one. I'm not gonna shut you. Have you got a smaller size, Cat? Well, have you got the measurements of that one that you've got up now? Hang on, let me get my tape measure. Just tell me what the measurements are. Okay. Okay, we're just going to measure the one I've got here to see if it's the right one. Which one? Oh, direction is that in? No, none of the... That's not that... What's another measurement? No, that's not this one. That's not this one. Okay, that's the large one. There is a slightly smaller one on the, on the website. Okay, that was the first thing I had to do. And the second thing I had to do was what? Oh. 
This is just stunning, right? This is not how yours will arrive. These are the ones from our drawer here. Because 10 inch charm pack, this is the Odile Balieu 10 inch charm pack. Yours will be beautifully wrapped when you get yours. This is mine. This is coming home with me today. Look at these. Now, this would normally be £44. It's only ever been £44.99. But there are only 17 in stock. Let's have a look. Where are you going to crash to? £10 coming off. Cat's got the sniffles now. £34.99. Oh, I love this. This is going to make the most amazing quilt, this one. Oh, June's a bit late. You are indeed. Karen loves Pierce Brosnan, the one he did with Terry Hatcher. Oh, and she loves all my Poirots as well. Here you go, look. Look. Only available till midnight tonight at that price. At midnight tonight, it will go back up to the price it was, $44.99. Make sure you check out loads and loads and loads. You've got that in your basket. $34.99. Beautiful. We picked that. We picked that because we love Cat and I love that. Okay, that's that one. I'll just put that. I'll just put that one straight into my bag. Design roll, two and a half inch strips. Very quickly, because Janice is here now. Fewer of these. I've got even fewer of these. Are you going to take £10 off this as well? When do you see a designer design roll for £34.99? 42, no, 40 pieces, 40 pieces. Two and a half inches wide, width of fabric. I'm just going to sew all the squares together, Claire. Make a big quilt. That's all I'm going to do. This has only been on there twice on its own before, and we've never reduced it before. Never, ever reduced it before. Free spirit fabric. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. I love the colours. I love the patterns. One of my favourite ever fabric collections. Odile Bellieu. Uh, Le Jardin de la Reine at the Queen's Garden is what it's called. No reason to take it off at all, apart from it's Black Friday on Friday. It's lovely, isn't it? Right. Going, moving on. Make sure you check out your basket on that one. Right, don't go anywhere, because after the break, <coughs> Janice is up. She's going to be making this little girl's dress. Right, right, says Elliot. What, what, what? She's going to be making... Not in that fabric, she's using a different fabric. It's Liberté. We'll see you in four minutes from now. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one p and even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out Bye. 
back. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with us. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. I came to fame was a sewing quarter. But I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. Her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets. Um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them, I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make. I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. Uh, Rebecca's on on uh, Wednesday. She'll be in on Wednesday. What are you saying, Janice? Have a look at Janice. You've never seen Janice's hair this colour before. Look. Grey. <laughs> what colour is it, though? Grey. It's my natural colour. Oh, it's not out of a tube? Nope. 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 I think and I you... think I'm dark on the back. Well, yeah. It goes darker on the back. Yeah. It's quite a few different shades. I that. think it looks like there's still a little tinge of pink in there, I think, isn't there? Is that? No. I had it all cut out. Oh, you look amazing, Janice. You. you look fantastic. Thank you. And you do. Oh, you'd have to say that, Janice. Um, <laughs> she's got jeans on, right? She's like, been like, losing weight, right? She's got some uh, new jeans on. Do you have to show us, right? <laughs> and they're falling off her. She said, I thought I'd put my jeans on to be comfortable driving, forgetting that she had to stand for two hours there and everything. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Janice, you look brilliant. Let's get on with this. Janice has been making this little children's dress. How gorgeous is that? Here it is. It's called the Kiki 
dungaree set for some reason. You can make dungarees. I'll show you the pattern. There it is. £17.14. Child sizes 3 to 14. Is this brand new? No. Oh, it has been on once before at £17.49. Okay. Cat is going to reduce the price just for today until midnight tonight. £14.49. £14.49. Right, so you can make a little dungaree dress. You can make a bib dress. You can make dungarees. Look at all the different things you can make for your seven, your fourteen forty nine in there. Aren't they beautiful? You can you and look at the age range three to fourteen, three to fourteen. And sadly, Cat wants these, but oh, she wants the dungarees. Sadly, she's bigger than a fourteen year old. Janice, your hair is gorgeous, says Sue. Thanks. There you go. There's the sizes. Oh. Beautiful. Say that again. 10, 12, 14, yeah. Yeah. Children's sizes, not grown-up sizes, obviously. £14.49 for the day until midnight, then that's it. Now, I know Janice has got a lot of sewing to do. Isn't it lovely, right? Uh, we have got Liberty Bundles. Now, the thing is, right, yes, this is a children's dress hour, but all of these fabrics are Liberty fabrics in bundles of two and a half metres, right? With 20% off, right? So if you just want some Christmas fabric from Liberty and you're not going to make a child's dress, two and a half, a two and a half metre bundle with 20% off, then this, I'm going to go through them quickly because there's a lot of them. I'll go through this one first. So that's the blue ribbon detailing, two and a half metres. 44 inches wide, Liberty, it's quilting weight, it's not your tarn lawn. 20% off. How much should it be then, Kat? Well, I can work that out. Uh, two and a half metres is five units, five, seven. I don't know how much. 37.45 is how much it should be. Beautiful. Yeah, it will be half metre because it's a fifth. Yeah, you're saving half a metre. Anyway, that's the blue one. No, I don't know, but we've done it. Right, here we go. Then I've got the same one in green. They're all Christmassy, Elliot. They're all Christmas fabrics. Morning, John and Janice. Love the Liberty pattern. Perfect for my granddaughter, says Jean. Indeed it is, Jean. These are all limited, just so you know. They're all limited because we've bundled them. Right, Janice has used the next fabric for her demo, which is candles uh, uh, in the red. Shine bright, this one's called. Again, 20 You know the price. You know the price. So if you see anything you like on pre-order, just click. Well, the price is already on pre-order. The right, correct price on pre-order. We're not dropping the price at all. Then, I love this one. Then we've got this one in blue. Shine bright in the blue. Lovely, isn't it? 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Liberty's cotton. Lovely, isn't it? Right, now my favourite ever Liberty's Christmas print is this. We did have it in silver as well. I don't know if we've got... Well, I was going to say, if we have got silver, the silver one won't be reduced. Just the gold. Two and a half metres. Wiltshire Shadow in gold. Imagine that. But the thing is, little Christmas dress, but imagine a skirt or a dress for you made out of it, two and a half metres. Fabulous. Fabulous. Then I've got Wiltshire Shadow in a pale blue. Now these aren't Christmas. These shouldn't even be here. 20% off. That's Wiltshire Shadow in your Arctic. Have it in your stash, two and a half metres, 29.96. Beautiful. Also, two and a half metres, is, it, it makes the biggest one. So you're going to make that. You're going to have loads left over. Loads left over. Right, here's the pink. Wiltshire Shadow in the pink. There's only five of these left already. Very popular on pre-order, that one. Sorry? 
Moving on. I've got it in the lilac. Beautiful. Dawn says, morning, John and team. Lovely dress, lovely hair, Janice. Gorgeous. Then I've also got this. Now, I don't know what colour they call this one. We will go back to Christmas fabrics in a second. Oyster, this one's called. Oyster white. There's, okay, there's five of these left, four in baskets. So that's going to sell out. It's already pre-cut into the two and a half metre piece. So if you buy two, you will get two pieces of two and a half metres. Just so you know. Um, Jean, what? Lovely to make a shirt. It will be a heavier weight shirt. It will be a, like a heavier weight shirt rather than shirting. Right, back to the Christmas now. This is green Christmas trees. Festive furs. There's only four of these left now. Karen says, morning, Janice, you look amazing. <coughs> Embracing the grey, she has two. Old Toast Dawn French. Ho, ho. Don't know. Then we've got, this is lovely, this one. This doesn't need to be Christmas either, if you don't want it to be. It's called Holiday Berries, this one. Beautiful. Then we've got this one, which is very lovely and Christmassy, this one. This is like all your toys and everything. Imagine little frock. Only three of these left. Only three of those bundles left. Been very busy on pre-order. 29 96 20% off they are. 20% off. And then last bundle, last bundle, last bundle is this one here. I don't know what they've called this one, actually. Starlit Sparkle. It's not pink. Oh, I suppose the background's pink, isn't it? Take that back. Thank you, says Kat. Thank you, John. Another mistake. Right, be careful on those. They are going to sell out. When I come to the roundup, half those will have sold out, just to warn you. Just to warn you. Or buttons. How many do you need? Just hey. two, three, four. Two, two at the One, top. two, three. three. And that's it. Oh, three, three. Just three. Just need three buttons. 1.99. I think I'd get sparkly buttons for a Christmas mm. dress myself. I like those. Or little pearly ones. Right. Janice! Hello. Hello. You look Hello. fantastic. Hello, everybody. You okay? Yeah, decided to cut it all off. Go great. Yeah, yeah. So it's got you on Peter Pan well, haircut. Yeah, the bob. Nah, it suited me years ago when I was a red, but not. No, I still like short because of me up flushes. <laughs> You're not supposed <laughs> to say that, Janice. <laughs> and I do <laughs> because of the. And she's no, got a glass of water. Good. She's all right. Yeah, and I'm not very well. I haven't got COVID. I haven't been very well. If it weren't for my mate John at work this week, not John, me. Not me. John. He, he was just dosing me up with these things called Jaitmans and they really cleared my throat and my nose, really good Are stuff. Are they sweet? Yeah. A little sweet. Paul swears by yeah. Jaitmans. Yeah, well, he had it's them. It's a Birmingham thing, isn't it? I don't know, but yeah. he had them and he was dosing me up with them. But they're just sweet, you buy them in yeah. the petrol station, don't anywhere. you? Yeah. But they really are good and they clear the nose and Oh, everything. brilliant. So I've got a supply here just in case, but I've also got my water just good. in case. Good. I start choking, so yeah, so... If I'm breathing heavy down the mark with my breathing, ignore it. All right, then. So, so if you go blue so. and roll over on the floor, that's when we need to worry. That's when you need to call the <laughs> Okay, so gorgeous right. little dress, isn't it? Oh, it's so pretty. Really now, the reason we get Janice to make these is you used to have... A children's shop. Children's shop where you used to make children's yeah. clothes, didn't you? Yeah, used to sit in, 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 sit in the window, window making all these clothes. Aww. And little outfits for the children. Oh, they're lovely, they want nice children. They're gorgeous. So... Yes, so innocent and lovely, aren't they? So, and then they grow up. <laughs> I know. Well, we were saying this the other day. Like, children grow up too... This Very is my opinion. Pink, gone. But children grow up way too quickly, don't they? Pink, and they're, they're old at 11 and old, almost, aren't they? No, it's 11. Yeah. And when my cousin said to me, it's 11, I knew we'd be doing her own hair and doing her own makeup and doing everything. I didn't believe her. 
No. And it did, it happened. No. So she didn't want me drawing her hair and nothing. It just no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Right, so, really are you, so uh, do you want me to do most of the talking or are you going to be all right? No, you're fine. You're all fine. Right. I'll be able to uh, Lorraine says, morning, Janice. Bless you. Morning. That's crazy, Lorraine. <laughs> oh. Right, so first right. of all, I'm going to show you how to do a tailor's tack, if you don't know. Because the markers are great, but then sometimes you do need to do tailor's tacks on the notches so that they go on to both sides. It's funny, we were talking so, about this yesterday with... Um, who was in yes Adam yesterday talking yeah. about because sometimes if you put a notch or anything and then you overlock it you lose your notches you lose and things like that and I so I'm really old fashioned I use a marker and but even tax. going back to a college yeah. we did everything with tailors, tailors tax, tax. At college, yeah. so with the markers on these type of things I just think well how do you get to go oh I'm going to show that again Janice, where it is. so you so, see so, the little yeah. marker there for the three year old yeah I think, well, how do you get that to go through to the other side if it's a marker pen? Mm -hmm. So I always use tailor's tacks. So the way I do a tailor's tacks, you've probably seen me do this many a times, but I'm thinking for new people. Yeah, I haven't seen you do it for ages. watching the show. So you just go in the one side of it, up the other side of the notch. It's double thread, should have yeah. said that. Then you go back in just before it and come out again, mm -hmm. and you leave a big loop. Now, it's better for you to ch you use cheap cotton on this because right. it will be wasted. And then you cut it. Right. Then you cut into the middle of the loop. Right. Okay. And that will then be on both sides. You can't see it there. That's the white there. Yeah. If you look. If I show it you like that, you can yeah, see it. Yeah, you can see it there. So then when you open it out, I'll just take this off a bit. Right. And I'll just... Take this off a bit, because I can show what I'm doing on the yeah, other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What you do is you open up the stitches. So there's my tailor's tacks already. I've, I have trimmed them once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You open it up, the fabric, and then you see the, the navy blue there. You uh -huh. cut into the middle of it. And then that leaves the marking both sides. So again and that was the white one we did there yeah which i'm not going to need so i'll just take that out because right. that was for the three year yeah, old yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is for the six year old so that's what you do now also on the pattern when you're cutting it out they get you to do the one on the center of the fold but on some parts of the pattern you don't do it on the fold it's all according to what layout of the fabric right so what they get you to do they get you to do the one side, yeah, like so, and then the other side. But what you have to do is fold it over. So you do the first side, which is like this side, uh -huh. and you put pins where it says centre front of fold. Right. So that when you've cut that side out, you can fold it over and do exactly the same on right. the other side. But the other thing I wanted to show you... Before you do that and you take it out and you do your fold, you need to show your markings first. So as you're doing it, you do your marking, which is there, the buttonhole there. Yeah. That was for D, so you don't have to do that for dress A. Right. And then you do the markings and then turn it over. Right. So that will leave the markings on that side and then you can do the markings on, on that, that side. side as well. Now have I explained that good? Yes. Very well, that Janice. That's okay then. How many Harleys? So, it's lovely to see you, Janice. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Claire says, Jakeman's are great. Carol says, Janice, you've just took me back to needlework lessons at school. <laughs> I still use tailor tacks now. Yeah. From Carol. <laughs> That's lovely. So, yeah. So, again, I'm just opening this up now. Yeah. Open up this side where the buttonhole markings are. And that's it. So, if you look now on the back, you've got the markings there, markings there. And yeah. the markings there, lovely. Yeah. So the first thing you do on this dress, you put the back front sides together first, right sides together, and we're going to machine round the top and the sides, starting from there. From, that, from your mark? From the markings, yeah. yeah. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And uh, does it, are the instructions good on the pattern? Yes, very tell you good. Very good. To do? Yeah, it tells you everything to do. Janice is using the 570A sewing machine back in stock. Didn't know we were getting it back in stock. 
Now, until Sunday, it's on four-way it's on four-way split pay. It's on four-way split pay until Sunday. Watch. And that five eight seams, as in five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Yeah. 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 Now I always do that. So I always do one side, then cut off. I never go up and round. I right. always do it. I know it's a bit more long-winded, but I think the stitches stay in better. Yeah. So just going across the top when you've joined your notches. And then the last pass. I always was surprised with them being five eight seams uh -huh. or one and a half centimetres on children's clothes. You'd have thought they'd have been smaller. Tiny, yeah, exactly. But they're not, they're always five eight. I seams. use five eight on absolutely everything. Everything. Yeah. Just making wise. Well, it's better because then if you ever have to, no, I didn't cut that one. Um, uh -huh. If you ever have to. Um, take them in or let them out or whatever you've got plenty of seam to play with so then what you do you trim down the seams so i'll just quickly then again do we need to finish these edges oh derek there you are we were just wondering where you were good morning elliot cat janet and john chilling today after being double jabbed yesterday flu and covid booster a booster loving your purple shirt uh, well, you wear purple to go pull in, don't you? Don't you just saying we don't see you anymore? We miss you Monday night singing and everything. Ah, oh. oops. Oh, it's okay. I'm just that's it. Okay. Just trimming down the seams. Okay, now. Okay, that's. So then, right. what we've got to do? Yeah. Let's turn it right side out. And then top stitch round it. Oh, okay. So, okay, it, so it's a double layer, is it, for the, for the, for the bib, yeah. as it were? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not it's not interfaced either. But I suppose you could interface this. Yeah. Because you, you, need you do you Should need anti um, interfacing for the waistband. Yeah. But so, yeah. So you, if you buy the, it anyway, you could. You could do um, just do. do Don't it, yeah. use your quick and pick for turning out corners like Janice is doing. No, where's the PR? Yeah, where's that? Uh, <laughs> Janice, lovely demo. Hope you get better soon, says Georgina. Thank you. But these fabrics, oh, thank oh, you, Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They've got good. just a glaze on them, that, and it, they're, they're amazing. Yeah. And it, it, they've just got a shine on them, haven't they? Really, and again, really like, good like I've always cotton. said, it, they make themselves, don't they? Uh -huh. These fabrics. Now, what I, I sometimes do is a cheat. A cheat? Yeah. What I sometimes do is I'll press it like that, open. Right. So then it gives me a, then, ooh, because then it gives me a good. Oh, yeah. There, do you know what I mean? Is that iron on? It's not on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I plugged it in, didn't I? And didn't you plugged it, it in, but didn't turn it on. So I'm just going to do that. Now also, while we're waiting for the iron just to warm up a bit. Yeah. The other trick is to get your seams out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love this trick again, of Genesis. What you do, if it's curled in, double thread again, go into the oh, seam. Oh, hang on, that's it, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Go into the seam, bring it up, pull it through without pulling all the way, mm -hmm. and then just pull the seam out. And you can do that if you have trouble getting a seam out. So. Uh, Patricia, so lovely to watch you, Janice. Uh, you. Oh, hang on, where's it gone? Picking up some good hits, hints and tips. Margaret says, oh, I've just tuned in again after distractions. Love Janice's hair. <laughs> Suits her so much. Wendy Orlando is up. Blimey, half past nine on Saturday morning. That's good, isn't it? She says, um, I've always steered clear of dressmaking, but Janice makes it look so easy, so I'm going to give it a go. Give Hope you a feel go. better soon, loving your hair. Anne says, go. I love it when Janice is on. <laughs> so many people do. So many people do. Right then. Right, Joe. So that's that done. Now those seams don't look great, but again, use that trick. Go the round pull it and through, yeah. pull them yeah. through. And then we're just going to top stitch around the whole. Okay, lovely. Front. So that's that. So I'm just doing. I, I always do a quarter of an inch from the top stitch, yeah. but you can do an eighth of an inch. You can yeah, do, do whatever you like. Yeah. 
so I'm just going to do this. But now I don't pull it out at this stage. Uh -huh. I literally just... Oh, OK, you do go around. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's not holding anything, yeah. is it? It's just your, your whole It's a bit of a lump there. there. Yeah. So there are parts where I cast off properly. Yeah. And then there's parts where I don't. But it's a personal choice, isn't it, at the end of the day? What you're comfortable with, you do. Yeah. And that's it. There's my seam ripper. Just to guide things. There we go. Hello. Just a back stitch. And there we go. And I keep forgetting to do the cutter. Right then, so then what you do, yeah. that's one side. Right, so then what you do, with the back, you've got exactly the same. Yeah. But this time, oh yes, you do your straps. Right. Okay. So. How have you made your straps, Janice? So the straps. Um, let me just get the pattern this out. Yeah. If I can. I've got it here. The pattern piece I have somewhere. Yeah. So with the straps. You've done what, Janice? With the straps, yeah. All you do, literally, like, okay. Here's your notches again. So those are for the button nail markings. Yeah. And these are to put them onto here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. all you do with the fabric, you've got that out lovely. You fold it in half. Yeah. And it, wrong sides together. Yeah. And then you machine. So you machine just. Down that side and down the raw edge. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. You don't sew across the bottom because you need that for turning. Right. Okay? And then you use your turning tool if you have one or a knitting needle or whatever old fashioned white knit needle. <laughs> now, what do you call the bit that, that's just slightly angled at the end? I'm not sure. Have you sure. got a name for it? I'm not sure. We were thinking never... yesterday, because uh, Adam kept calling it an arrowhead, and someone yeah, else messaged me saying it's a swallowtail. I thought it had some other name to it. I don't know. I'd say an arrowhead, really. Oh, hey, what? I'd say an arrowhead. Yeah. An Morning, arrowhead. Janice and John. Can you explain why <laughs> such a big seam allowance and it's trimmed down? Why not use a smaller seam allowance in the first place? Kate, they do that just in case you need to alter it. So a lot of people make the twirl up first. And then to, so to see if they need to move it in or out, sort of thing. That's I've, I've, I've often wondered that why yeah. you trim it down. So And you do trim down a lot, yeah. don't we? Yeah. So, yeah, it's one of them. You think, OK, some things like you, you think, and it's like with understitching as well. Sometimes I think, why are they understitching exactly. it? When Janice is fab. Great <laughs> tips for getting a lovely finish on smaller <laughs> garments. Hope you feel better soon. Thank lovely you. lady from Kate in Merseyside. Thank you. So, what you do then, on the right side, yeah. You place your, hang on, I always think which way around it. You place your straps. Once you've done your straps, you place them. Hang on, you put, which end are you putting in? I'm doing it that way. Why? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you put the raw, the raw edges edge to the to raw the edges. Take the well, it's just as well I'm here, isn't it? Sometimes. Oh, I have to have Johnny. I have to have Johnny all the time. <laughs> <coughs> so don't make me laugh, John. No, sorry. Zoe you says hello, today. Johnny Janice. Loving the hair, Janice. Maybe <laughs> it's called a chevron at the pointed end. Yes. Oh, Zoe, nice word, yes. yeah. Chevron's good. Yeah, chevron's good. Chevron's good. We'll call it a chevron all from right, now then. on. So then what you do, you put the right sides together. Yeah. You place your straps. Now, really, you should base that in yeah, really. to hold it down. We'll do it properly. So what I'll do, we'll just base that on. Yeah. Jean, the dress is not fastened at the back. It's fastened at the front here, like dungarees. It's got a zip in the side as well, which we don't really understand, but it's, that's yeah, where it's fastened. It's got a zippy. And we've got to talk about the zip as well, haven't we? Yeah, it's, you have, Janice. So... Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, but this fabric's lovely. Like just, beautiful. Just makes itself, doesn't it? So. So what are you doing there, then? Just uh, basing the straps. Yeah, then, yeah, just holding the straps on here. Though. That's it. And then, now, when you do this bit, you've got to be careful that you don't sew the straps in. Okay. So, I'm just going to now put that, join it together. Right. Exactly like we did that now we're doing. Yeah. So, get a 
if you want to keep snags or hold it together. So. Oh, did you watch Gogglebox last night? No, I don't watch it. Oh, don't you watch Gogglebox? No. Oh, well, it, it, there's, a, there's these three brothers. Tristan, Tremaine, and I can't think of the other one. And uh, he was sewing. He was sitting there sewing. Was he? Yeah. And Because um, they're butch lads. They're only kids. They're only kids. Oh. Footballers. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and what happened? He's sitting there sewing these trousers. And the one brother says to him, how come you know how to sew? He said, something our mum taught me. And then he said, well, why didn't she teach us? Oh. <laughs> and I thought, I've got to mention that on the show tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Because they're, they're young lads, yeah. you know, you don't expect them to... You also yeah. wouldn't tell what else were you going to say? Oh, you've been to the theatre, haven't you? Oh, the shark is broken. Amazing. If you can see it at the Ambassador in Covent Garden, go and see. It's Robert Shaw's son. Yeah. Um, and it's about how... They were ha hanging around on the boat. Hang on, hang on. So it's so it's about the, Jaws, the film the Jaws, films. but it's a play it's about a play. backstage. Sort yeah, of thing. and they've got the actual props. Oh, so it's wow. part of the boat and part of the chair. And it's how, because there was such a delay on the making of Jaws, because they couldn't get the shark right, oh. because it was okay in normal water, but not in salt water. Salt water. And they spent thousands on trying to get this shark. And at the opening scene, you always remember the girl going under. You yep. never see a fin, you never see. And it was because of his music. What's it, John, what's it John Williams, his music? Yeah. I can't think of his name. Um, that The suspense was there. Yeah, yeah, totally. Even without seeing the shark. But the thing yeah, is, though, if you look back at it now and look at that shark, I know. it's a dirt dum dirt dum yeah. But you couldn't, but then now you think, oh, look at that. Plaster of pattern or whatever, yeah. pepper mache shark to think. Because it's nothing like it's the nothing. special effects today, isn't it? But, but it, it was, was terrifying, it was amazing. wasn't it? But Ian Shaw, who's Robert Shaw's son, was saying how Richard Dreyfus and Robert Shaw never got on with each other. So and they show the arguments that took place. And Robert Shaw was a bit of a drinker and he, th he put all his drink overboard oh. and he went crazy. But Roy Schneider um, always got in the middle of them to keep them apart. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it, honestly, if you can see, I wanted oh, to give a standing. sounds fascinating. I wanted to give a standing ovation. What were you doing there, It was doing it really well. Well, I was Amy, wasn't I? Because it, oh, was, of course. it was Martin's birthday uh -huh. and Amy's boyfriend's birthday. Yeah. Um, I, well, we, I paid for them to, us to all go. Oh, blimey, that you'll need a small fortune for that then, Jenny. Oh, it was amazing. It was worth it, though. It was worth oh, it. so nice to be back in theatre, isn't it? Not oh, that been yeah. yet. Yeah, absolutely great. It Somebody is. said they went to see the uh, Eddie Redmayne Cabaret uh, last week. Oh, really? And they said, after remortgaging their house, <laughs> selling the dog, <laughs> not eating for a month to buy their tickets, they said it was the best thing they've ever, ever seen in any theatre. So well, it they, must be amazing. These were £71 a ticket. They were what? £71 Oof. a ticket. Oh, yeah, the they tickets were. for Eddie Redmayne were started at £90. It went to £625. Because I was going to go with That's my friend Francesca. Of money. Oh no, they were, I think there were 350, and it would have cost me oh, 300 and something would have cost me 600 pounds to buy two. That's a lot of money. Though, it's a lot isn't of money, it? isn't it? That's For a theatre money. show. It is. I'm sure they'll film it. It'll go on Netflix or the telly or something. Well, I'm hoping to get my mum to the Royal Albert Hall if I can. Oh, to see what? To see the Cirque du Soleil. To what? See Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Du Soleil. Oh, lovely. I've seen it before. I went with Amy yeah. to the Royal Albert Hall to see it. Yeah. And and I could tell my mum was a bit upset. So um, I'm not. She, I hope she's not watching this today. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I could tell she was a bit upset. Oh. Um, this is the only trouble with Taylor's tax. It's getting them out after. Yeah, exactly. Which is why it's always a good idea to do them in a different colour, so you can always see them to the pull them out colour. afterwards. Yeah. John has this saying, and when I was doing this last yesterday, I thought, but well, I want the, the people to be able to see yeah. the Taylor's tax. Because you've always had the saying, with black it comes back. Yeah, tacking black it'll always come back. Tacking yeah. black it'll always come back. There was a whole poem, tacking black it'll always come back, tacking red, and I can't remember the rest of it. <laughs> right, so it's been yeah, a long just, time just ago since I was in college. Just try and get it out if I can. So, just trying to get them out before I turn it. Yeah. That's the nice. And then these can come out now. So, sorry about this, I'm just trying to get them out. <laughs> That's it. Gosh, my, breathing, <coughs> my breathing's bad. What are you muttering about? My breathing being bad. Oh, someone's ringing me up on my phone. Oh, well, they're not. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me just get rid of them. Go away. Go away. <laughs> no, I'm not, I can't answer on this, can I? Can you? 
Can you answer them on your iPad? Yeah, I oh, think so, but I don't know how to do it. It'd be a cold caller. Oh, do you know what it might be? I've ordered my outside lights and they tried to deliver oh, really? them yesterday. Two years, I've got a box outside my front door. They've been putting parcels in my box outside my front door. Yesterday, maybe it was, but they took it. No, no, because they took a picture of it at my front door and then they took it away again. Oh. Anyway. No, 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 they sent me an email saying we've taken it back to the depot when do you want it delivered? And I was like, we can deliver it tomorrow morning, but put it in my safe place. Yeah. So we'll wait and see what happens. <laughs> okay. So we're there now. And yep. again, just going to press it. Have luck. And top stitch it. But I, I did want to concentrate on the bodies today because this, this is the trickiest bit, if you oh, answer okay, me. Because the skirt's a skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just put a zip in. Yeah. So, but again, if nobody's done it before, I'll just quickly no, exactly. go. No, exactly. Don't worry, Jen, she's fine, time-wise. So, um, so this is the back. This is the this back. This is the back, yeah. Oh, so sweet, isn't it? And the candles are going all up and down different ways. This one's lovely, though, because it's got the red going down and the pink going up. Yeah. So um, nice. don't, don't forget the pattern, 14.49. Uh, Kat's taking some money off it today. It should be 17.49. She's taking three pounds off only till midnight tonight. But don't forget, there's dresses, two different versions of dresses and two different versions of dungarees on there as well. Ages three to 14. Use it again and again and again for all your grandchildren, your nieces. And the nice, your nephews. the nice thing about it is it's a simple dress. Yes. And it, you can use that this pattern for winter dresses, summer dresses, mm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even as a pinny, like as a pinnifore. Yeah. And I love pinnifores on little girls. And in tartan, the Christmas would look nice as well. I haven't it? got any tartan, so, Janice, I'm afraid. But I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> you are? I'm just saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> Morning, Janice and John, loving the dressmaking. <laughs> Great sewing pattern, says Diane. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Right. Right. So now the next thing you do, you've got your waistbands. Okay. So. Right. So this does need the interfacing inside, right. it, doesn't it? Only on the one side. Oh, okay. But on this un un uninterface side, we need first. What you've got to do is match it up with. Right. That's it. You just match it up, and you put both of them on right. together. And you've got notches there, yeah, for notches the there mm -hmm. for the ends, so that leaves about like a five eighth of a seam for turning the nuts. Uh -huh. But it does show you exactly on the pattern what to do. Let me just show you. Yeah. On here, there it shows you that bit. So if you look, I just want to show them on the pattern to no, show no, them no. out. So Simple it is, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Am I on the right one here? Yeah. So, what we're doing is this bit. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, let me get in there. That's no, right. No, we're not. Right, yeah. Hang on. It's just. What are you looking no, it's for? Here. No, it's okay. Oh, it's not that bit. No, it's it's this bit. This is where we're at now. Okay. So it's that bit we're doing there. Right. So it's that one there. And that one there. Yeah, so you've got okay. the waistband under, so it shows underneath. So yeah. the waistband's underneath, and those are on top. Okay, lovely. Okay. And you've got notches so then, to line it up anyway. Yeah. So what we're going to do on here, we only based it on at this stage. Right. So whereas I actually machined it on, because uh -huh. I never read it. Because <laughs> sometimes I think, well, I know I've done so many of these things, I know what to do. Yeah. And, and then you go wrong, okay. and you think, yeah. But I thought, well, it doesn't matter if you stitch it on or no. baste it on. It doesn't matter. As long as you hold it in place. And then you've got the middle matching here. So you line up the middle. Yeah. Line up that. Oops. Get some pins. Uh -huh. Or with your wonder clips, whatever you want to use. And then we're going to machine it. Paste it across. Oops. There we go. That's right. And there we go. Leaving again a bit. Uh-huh. The seam for T so it's everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just match it up. And Bob's your uncle. Is it? <laughs> As the saying is, 
I don't know why they're, there is a saying called Bob's your uncle. No, well, I'm sure or someone it, will know. Or is it a Birmingham thing again? No, 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 <laughs> I knew that one. Did you? Yeah. Where was you actually born? Birkenhead. Oh, was she? We were passing through, or we weren't staying there. <laughs> uh, my nan lived in Chester. We oh, were right. on our way to Chester, and I started coming yeah. when I was in Birkenhead. Birkenhead started coming. But my dad was in the RAF, so every two years or so, we moved to a different part of the yeah. country. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so you got to know England quite well, didn't you? Well, the bits where we were living in, yes. Where you were living. Oh, I love that. Right, so again, five-eighths. Mm -hmm. Or one and a half now, are you sewing the actual seam allowance at this point, or are you sewing within the seam allowance? I'm sewing on the actual seam allowance. On the actual seam, that's yeah. fine. What would you do? Would you normally Well, do are you going to put the other... S I, I don't know, what, what, where, is there another part? Yeah, of the, the other part, but that's the front. Yeah, So okay. then it goes the other side. Yeah. So I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've always done the seam allowance. Does it say? <laughs> I have mine shut, I'm not opening mine. Don't worry, don't worry, Jenny. Are you going to sandwich that into the back of the waistband as well? Yeah. Yeah, so I would do it just inside the line. Then, you know, then you if would. you make a mistake, you never have to unpick that line True. that you're doing now. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yeah, so see. just do it inside. No, no, you can do it on. If you're doing it on, but it just means you've got to get it exactly on the exactly line when you on. stitch it the other way. Don't okay. And have you watched it's Bake Off? Bob's your uncle, yeah. and he's your aunt. It's a 1954 song. Oh, is it? There you go. I never knew that. Yeah. Uh, am I watching what? Bake Off, of course. Don't give any spoilers, because people haven't watched. No, no, I'm not. I'm mm. just, I, I was just going to say how fantastic the designs are that they come out. Yeah. And, and that boy, Chiggs, he's only been doing it for less than a year, hasn't he? Less than a year. I was, I was really surprised. I thought... Don't no. say anything. I'm not going to, don't worry. You've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race as well? No. Oh, okay. I don't watch that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press down. Oh, okay. I'm not going to trim it at this stage because I think sometimes you need the body. Yeah. But I'm just going to press that down mm -hmm. like so. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah. Right. Nine. So that's the other side. Yeah. I'm just going to press it open. Uh huh. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops. So then, what you have to do, yeah. you get the second part of the actual waistband. Waistband. Which is the interface side. Bob Drunkle yeah. refers to a Prime Minister, Robert Gascoigne, who appointed his nephew. Oh, thank you, Fat Man in the West Midlands. Right, okay, so where does that go then? That goes. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Hang on, we can't but see I'm it. just yeah, going to have a yeah. check. I yeah, just yeah, want to yeah, check yeah. on something because. Right. Let me just check on she something. She slept since yeah. she made it last time. That's it. I have. That's it. That's what I was thinking about. Which side is that, that one? Yes. So. What you have to do is turn it under first. That's what I was just checking. Yeah. I'll turn the edge over. You turn turn the edge over there. Yeah. I always wonder which side it is, you see, because yeah. there's notches everywhere and I have to think, which side do I do yeah. it now? That's it. Turn it over, just give it a press. Should be about five eighths, but I'm just doing it quickly. Yeah. And to be honest, there is guidelines on here because of the candles being on the. You can follow. Oh. You can follow the, can oh, yes, the yes, candles the to get yeah, you a. You, can, yeah. you know, that's it. That's what I wanted to check on. Then we attach it mm -hmm. to this one here. Right. Uh, Claire says uh, she loves the RuPaul's Drag Race. Is it the final next week? Yes, it is. 
Uh, Loads says morning from Tavistock, sat sitting with a coffee in the motorhome. She goes away every weekend. No, no, not no, no. Love Janice's outfit. Did you make it yourself, Janice? No. No. <laughs> no. You know, for... to be honest, I, I never do sewing for me because I'm always doing it for other people. Other people, yeah, exactly. I never have time. So I've always said I'm going to start making more clothes. And you know what I mean? Well, you're different shape every time you come in. All that weight you're losing. <laughs> losing the weight. Cat <laughs> uh, said, did you buy it from that place? What place, Cat? This near, near your work, where you buy your clothes no, from. No, no. This, this was from Sea Salt. The blouse. Oh, nice. Um, nice. The blouse is Sea Salt. Mm -hmm. um, and the jacket I bought from an Italian shop. Oh. Um, if you don't know, the jacket is long length. It's a long length jacket. It's not just a little bomber it's like, jacket. It's, look. it's like wet look, isn't yeah. it? It's quite. Yeah, but it's long. short at the front, like a grasshopper's tail, yeah. isn't it? Short at the front, goes longer at the it's back. It is really nice. Yeah. So, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just doing no one else does, Janice, just you. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I'm just machining down. Uh huh. Taking your pins out as you go. Taking my pins out as I go along. Uh oh, I thought that was a pin then, it was the base. The stitch in the tailor's tacky. Just rush down there. And it is a simple make, yeah. this dress. So if you are a beginner and you, you've never had to go to sewing before and you want to make your granddaughter a dress for Christmas, this is an ideal dress to start with because it is a simple design, but I always find the simple designs are the best. Mm -hmm. I think when people, um, when I'm going to open that up and right, press it, I, I find that if you get too complicated, you can end up with egg on your face. Yeah, and also but it gets I'd depressing because you want to, if you can't finish something, or yeah. you get frustrated you by get it. You get frustrated. Yeah. The times I've started, <laughs> I've always done that with jumpers. What, knitting? <laughs> knitting. I, I get fed up halfway through and then I see another style I want to do. And I, think, <laughs> I start that one. <laughs> I start that one. So then we just fold <coughs> that over. Right. Ready. But now I'm going to carry on with the skirt. Right, yeah. So that's going to look quite nice when it's done. Right, yeah. So I'll just give that a pressing. And then, just give that a nice press. Okay, yeah. so that's now going to be the front and the back. And isn't it pretty? So yeah. pretty look. Lovely. So fresh. Now the skirt. Yes. Right, the skirt. I just asked Elliot how many minutes we've got left. Okay, about four minutes. Janice. Okay, well, the skirt is cut as a circular. Oh, okay. So it's done twice on the on the actual fold again. Yeah. Upside down on the on the way the pattern is with the fabric yeah. because of the way the fa the patterns go. You've got to watch that as yeah, well with course, certain yeah. patterns. So then that opens out, and you've got a lovely width of a. I mean, the way it hangs. Oh, I, I, you can't beat a circular skirt like that. Looks so, and little girls are going to love it because they're going to switch, yeah, aren't they, when they're wearing it? Yeah. And that's why I had, to, I had to do this bit because of it. Now, yeah. the zip. Yeah. That's in the. Do, are you selling the zip at all? Uh, well, not? no. The zip we've got is a lovely metallic zip, but uh, we both think it's a bit heavy for this pattern. If don't you look we? there, it is a lovely zip because the nice thing with the metallic is it does shine through. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you do use a metallic zip, because you do like that look, it is heavy for this fabric. Yeah. So what I had to do with this skirt, with the metallic zip, I had to cover the zip. If you do it where you get the zip showing, showing all the way yeah. up, it will not work. It, it pull, There's a name for it. My mum said it yesterday. And it doesn't, it bunches and yeah. it doesn't sit right. So you've got to really have the one side covering the zip so it lays flat yeah. if you want to use the metallic. Yeah. If not, just use the normal seven Yeah, just get zip. a seven, oh, seven inch, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, seven inch zip. So all you do with this zip, now on the pattern as well also, if you have a seven inch zip, where the notches are, where it gets you to do that there is not seven inches. Oh, okay. She, she does say in the pattern, if you want to shorten the zip, shorten the zip whereas I actually made it 
so that the zip went in seven inches. So you took it longer. If you want to do seven inches, it's to that notch there, believe it okay. or not. That is your seven inches. Okay. All right. Lovely. So just be warned of that as well mm -hmm. with the pattern. Then all I did was sew up the side. Then I used my overlocker, uh, no, pinking shears yeah. to do the side. And this side, but I didn't do the pinking shears on this side because you sometimes cut too much away. Yeah. And then if you're putting a zip in like this and it's a zip like this and it's not an invisible zip, invisible zip, you'd be able to do that, but with a zip like this, you can't. Yeah. So, and once you've got to that, you put your zip in, you're happy, you then, then attach the bodice yeah. to the, the waist. So then you've got your center lines. Okay, which is there and there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, if I just pin it and hold it up, or do it with the, no, I'll pin it. Because we don't have time, will we? To yeah, yeah, don't it. worry, Jenny. But so you literally just pin just, the skirt I'm all the way round the waistband. The way don't you? But I just want to hold it up so I could, they can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, of course. So if I put in a lot of pins, I'll let you do that, Jenny. Just so I can do that, thank yeah. you. Because you know me, John, I like to try and show them the finished yeah, 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 yeah. if I can. So By them, she means you at home, not me. <laughs> and I pinned it wrong now, I'm trying to rush. What have you done? You've done your pins up and down rather no, than... No, you're okay. You're right. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just, just done this a bit. Pinned it on there, because I'm rushing now. So you match your centre. Uh-huh. Markings, match all that. You okay for time so far? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> oh, it's that pin out your mouth. <laughs> Always do pins in my mouth for quickness and shit. Don't put pins in your I'm mouth. I'm not, I'm not, I did not took it straight out. Especially when you got <coughs> a cough and a cold. I know. <coughs> oh, there, there you go. <laughs> Here I go again. Yeah. And the cough and me cold. That's it. Let's just read that. Love Janice. That's all it says. Love Nearly Janice. There. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there, everybody. It's not bang on. It's nearly there, but it's not bang on. Just try and get you to... <laughs> oh, we got have a laugh, haven't we? Oh. Two more pins. One more pin. Yep. Okay. So take the notice how it is pin, but... I just want to hold Yeah, at home, you'll take your time and do this, yeah. yeah. I've just stabbed myself. So then what you do, you sew... It's into the seam. Yeah. And then... Then you just turn the, 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 the other yeah. half of the waistband yeah. the, the, down on it and stitch down it Down on it yeah. and stitch it all up. Like that. Lovely. And that's your finished. See, isn't that lovely? See how nice that is? I like this one better. Do you? I like, this I, I like that one because of the colour. Yeah. I think the colour, the harsher colour... Or oh, can you imagine though, if you're doing a little party dress for them, the gold Janice and the gold oh, berry, yeah. it'd be lovely, be lovely, wouldn't it? So that's it, but they are beautiful fabrics. Yeah. And, and the then very quickly, hang. you put a button on each of the yeah, straps. Button on the straps going round. Yeah. To and there, a buttonhole on the front. And a buttonhole. Yeah. And so you've got one on the waist and one on the each yeah, side. One of the on beard. the waist and one on the And how do you hem the bottom of the skirt? And with the skirt now, because it's a circular skirt, yeah. I actually machined Right, machine to quarter of an inch in. It tells, yeah. you, it tells you in the pattern as well, but I just did it anyway. Then you fold it in, and then you fold it in again yeah. and machine out. And, and keep it as tiny as possible, because yeah. when you do a circular skirt, if you make any bigger, it can do that roping, it, yes, can't it? Yes, it will. It also, yeah. So, and it's called a baby stitch, isn't it, that? Yes, yeah. So, but yeah, you, so you do your line yeah. to guide, then fold it on it. Yeah. You can even press it if you want, and then fold, fold it again. again. Or if you've got an overlocker, yeah. overlocking, just turn up the once a little yeah. bit. Yeah, or the pinking shears. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you, so, Janice. Now yeah. you're back in an hour yeah. and you're doing like a storage basket, yes, aren't the baskets. you? So Brilliant. That'd be nice. Uh, right, yeah. so you'll see Janice in an hour's time. She's going to go and have a lie down in the darkened room now. <laughs> uh, what pattern? 14 49 It's three pounds off just till midnight tonight. Then it will go back up to seventeen pounds and forty nine pence. Oh well, it's having trouble with his cameras. There you go. Age is three to fourteen. Now on there, don't forget you've got two different dresses. And two different dungaree types on there. So you're getting six different patterns. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, six different patterns. Look, more than six, isn't it? Six different patterns within that pattern. And ages three to 14. So you can make it each year for them. Every Christmas, they can have a different Christmas dress, same style, but so it could be the tradition, couldn't it? You might have trouble putting a 14-year-old in a little bib dress because, you know, 14-year-olds these days. But anyway, £14 and £14. I'm not going to go through all the fabrics. I'll just go through the ones that Kat tells me to go through. The gold first. Now, there can't be many of these left. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Imagine making a little Christmas day dress out of that for a little one. Be stunning, wouldn't it? So you get 29. Now, they've already got 20% off, by the way. 29.96. Already got you 20% off. Even if you're not going to make the dress, imagine that. You see, two and a half metres. Let me just show you, right? The kid tablecloth. Christmas tablecloth. That would be lovely on my table, wouldn't it? I mean, a bit excessive, isn't it? A Liberty tablecloth, but... <laughs> I know, but it'd be beautiful. Look at that on the table. My mum used to have, like, um, a tatting um, tablecloth that we used to put gold fabric underneath, and then it was the tatting was gold thread on top. That would look lovely over the top of that. Anyway, that's two, that's two and a half metres. It's a big amount of fabric, isn't it? Janice, you can make a little frock for yourself for Christmas for that. There you go. Right, okay. Um, which other one, very quickly? This one here, the blue one. This is ribbons on here in blue. Yeah. I do have to fold it, Janice. Don't worry, I'll do it. 29.96 uh, with 20% off. Gorgeous. Oyster Liberty's very, the Wil Wiltshire Shadow, very popular. If you got that one, you see, that would be brilliant for your stash when you just need a bit of cream fabric, wouldn't it, really? Or oyster fabric. 29.96. There's only two of those bundles left, but there are seven in baskets. So, you, busy, busy, busy. Check out on all your bundles. Any more? No, all the others are underneath us on the website. Got to go now because I've got, oh, oh, I've got Christmas galore coming up in the next hour. Then Janice is back in an hour. Then at 12 o'clock, we're going, we've got Vanessa in doing the most beautiful crocheted blankets on Yarn Lane. It's all going on. See you in four. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. 
I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. What does it mean when you've got an itchy palm? It means money coming, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh no, right for receiving, left for giving. Oh, oh no. <laughs> now, um, these are nothing to do with this hour, right? And I'm not really supposed to have this. So I was just going back there because these are kept on by a Paul's desk. And when we were checking things in this morning, I went, where are those lamps? Did Claire take them with her? Anyway, I've just found them on the table over there. So we just had a look at them, right? <coughs> They were on three-way well, three split pay for one day only. Hayley, hasn't, Hayley went off to Harrogate, didn't she? They're still in Harrogate. So, these native lighting lamps, which were brand spanking new to us. We were the only people who had it the other week. They were so new, Claire didn't even have them on her website. What day was it? Family, what day did I've been in? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday, it must have been Wednesday. Oh, Thursday, Thursday. Oh, yeah, because I was with Hannah on Wednesday, wasn't I? We don't know what each other looks like. We haven't seen each other for so long. Anyway, so if you missed out on the native lighting show on Thursday, one is a magnifier, one is a lamp, right? You're not going to believe these prices. Right, so we're going to do the lamp on its own. Right, first of all, this one does stand up on its own like this if you want it to. Right, right there you go. Stand up on its own. But you can also clip it to things, look, because it's, it's got this very, very wide clipper. Can you see that? There you go, look. Very, very wide clipper. So if you've got it on the bed head, bedside table if you're at bed, or isn't it called a bed head? Headboard. 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 What's bed head then? Oh, that's your hair in the morning, isn't it? Right, hang on. I don't, oh, there you go. Uh, clips on the side. Now, this one's got a great big fat, this has got a great big fat, um, Top to it, you know, like a kitchen unit. Kitchen unit. Oh, you know what? If you're in the kitchen, mind you, you'd have your big lights on the kitchen, wouldn't you? But you know what I mean? Anyway, you can have it anywhere. Right, now, there's a switch here on the side here. I don't know if they're charging. Let's have a look. Is it charged? Oh, no, we haven't charged it up, cat. Isn't it what? Wait a minute. I'm sure she switched on the side here. Oh, there you go. There you go. So you, no, no. You have to switch your on on at the side there, right? And then it, then it, then and then you can just press this one to get it on and off. You see, like that. Look. Now I'm. Sh 
Didn't this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. D three different colour temperatures. Look. Oh, three. Right, okay, so look, I'm keeping, if you tap it, you get different, look, can you see the different colours? Yellow, mix, cold, off. Yellow, mix, cold, off, right? Now, I'm presuming then to get it brighter and, do you keep your finger, finger on it? There you go, there you go. Can you see? Put it that way now. Look at the price, right? Look at the price. And now, it, it, you don't, you can plug this one in. It's a USB, this one, isn't it? I haven't got the wire here. It's a USB. So if you are next to your computer or something like that, your sewing machine, you can keep it plugged into that and work it that way. Or you can charge it up, right? Uh, $24.99, but look, because it's on three-way split pay. Now, the other day, yesterday, when Kat was on doing her manager special, they were actually watching. Do you know what? Look, you can also hang it from a wall if you wanted to. Look, there's, a, there's a, like a, one of those, um, can you see there? Like a, a, a screw, you can put a screw hole that you can put it over and slide it on like that. So you could have, oh yeah, look, you could have it on the wall like this. Look, oh, look. Oh, it's a bit too high for you there. Look, you could screw it on the wall. And not permanently, just have a screw on the wall and put it on like that. In fact, we've got one. I, can you see me? If I go over there, can let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Right, look. Look. Hang on. I don't know if the, I think that might be the wrong size screw though. Oh, it is. The screw's a little bit big. Don't use a great big screw like that. Anyway. No, it doesn't matter. I'm back out. Back now. Back now. Back now. So, three different colours and then a dimmable one by keeping your finger on it. A two year warranty. For, and it's got, the, look, it's got the gooseneck that they've all got. Isn't that brilliant? Just comes in the white, this one, though. Just comes in the white. $24.99. Oh, there's only 11 left. You're very close, Elliot, on that camera. Brand spanking new on Thursday. It was so new that she didn't even have it on her website. If you're in Harrogate, do go and say hello to her. She hasn't got a stand, but she is there on someone else's stand. Because she doesn't sell them direct. She doesn't sell them direct. Oh, good idea, Elliot. So what Elliot would do... Oh, no, it's not going to work like that, is it? He would attach it to the wall. <laughs> they're not pins, they're buttons. Um, he would attach it to the wall, and then he'd use this to clip papers to and things like that. Or a picture of Amy. That'd be nice. So it's all lit up for him. I'm more, more likely to have a picture of the dog, he says, which is called winter, summer, spring. Oh, I've got an email. Is it a complaint? Good morning, John team. I'm off to Beckenham Quilters Exhibition after today's show. It's at Beckenham Methodist Church. John, I'd really appreciate a shout out for them if it's allowed. It's not allowed, but I'll still do it. So, right. so looking forward to seeing what's been created during lockdown. Sewing Street has certainly kept me sane during the last couple of years. Lots of love from Joy. What time did Joy send that? Oh, Joy, I hope you've seen it. I'm off to Beckenham Quilters. If you go, now, if you're going to Beckenham Quilters at Beckenham Methodist Church, do tell Joy that we read out her message, won't you? Oh, I'm sorry we didn't read that out. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Go in and see, and see Joy and say, you know, John, John read you out your message. She might have gone by now, you see, because she sent it up past eight this morning. It's only ten past ten now. Talk about quick, interactive, off the mark. There you go. Five left, five left. Oh, do you know what? This would be brilliant for your makeup mirror. If you go, uh, do you know what? Dulcie would like this as well, because Dulcie takes, um, when she's filming, she stays in a hotel or in digs or anything, she takes her EPP with her. Clip this to the side of the desk in the hotel room. And then you can do your EPP, your hand sewing, anything like that. Or your makeup. Yeah, it comes with a wire. So as, as long as you've got a, a USB bit at the other end, um, you can put in. So if you've got a phone like I have that you charge up, take the charger phone out, put the, that in the end of that to charge it up. Oh, look, it's lovely. Great for the moho. 
Elliot doesn't like me moving it around too much. £24.99, £8.33 and pence on split pay. How many are left? Three left, three left. We'll get told off for doing that, you know, because we weren't supposed to do that. Right, the magnifier has already been going. Now, it's not just a magnifier. Again, it's a clip. This one's a clip. This one doesn't have the big round thing, so you can't stand this one up on your desk. This one has to be clipped on. Right, have a look. I'll show you the end there. So now, switch it on. There's your magnifier. One po oh, look, you can see on my shirt. You can see already on my shirt. Look how big, how big 1.3 magnification this is. Hang on, I'll turn it that way around, so it's even better that way around with the light shining, isn't it? There you go. Look. Can you see? This one has a three-step dimmer technology. Oh, well, it's happened without me doing it. Just touch it. Hang on, how did that work then? Oh, it just did it. Oh, there you go. That's just on and off there, that, that cat, though. Hang on, let me hold it down. I'm holding it down. There you go, there you go, there you go. You just hold your finger on the on-off button. So you tap it to switch it on or off. This one hasn't got the different colours, has it? This just got the dimmer. You just keep your finger on the switch. There you go, down, 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 down. Brilliant, isn't it? How much is this one then? 31 99 three split payments of 1066. Oh, something happened in 1066, didn't it? Four hours of battery, we're fully charged. Again, it's got the USB. It's got the USB. Oh, look, it tells you on the top how to do it. I'm going to have to do it, Cat's got the instructions stuck on the top. Look there. It's got the instructions of how you use it there. Keep your finger on it and it'll get... That gets it on and off. Mm -mm -mm. There you go, that's on and off. There's only eight of these left, look. Seven left. What a lovely Christmas present. What a brilliant Christmas present this is, because you can just use it as a lamp as well if you want to. If you want to read in your book at night time. Do you know what? Hang on. Will you check for me, Kat? Are the others all on three split? Right, we just get Kat to check. If they are, I've got them all here. If you want to see any of the native lighting lights, just let me know. While the management doing Harrogate, I'll do them for you. I can't reduce them in price or anything like that. But they're if they're still on three-way split pay, great Christmas present, birthday present. Do you know what? Is the big ring light still available? I need to get one of those. What was the matter, Kat? $31.99. She said they're very limited now, the, the ring lights. Now, Claire has got two more shows before Christmas, but who knows if we'll do the three-way split pay? That makes my tummy look funny there, doesn't it? Oh, Abigail, get one. Get one for her. Here you go. What a beautiful light. I want one for my mummy from Abigail. There's only four left, though, Abigail. Uh, four of these, and I presume those have sold out. Have they? The other one's sold out. Well, at least we sold them out. Nobody will know we've had them. Okay, leave that with you now. Do uh, check the website for availability. Also, if you want to go and have a look to see for the other... If, if you have a look on the website, right? Not, right, okay. So don't look on today's show. Look in the shop, you know, on the main page. Actually, should we just quickly go to it? I know we're supposed to be doing Christmas, but let's just quick... Can we do that? Are we allowed to do that? We need to find native lighting. Right, so go to the main page, right? Type into search, maybe, native lighting. They're all at, look, there they all are. So, we've got all of those. They're all on three-way split pay. We, we can't do anything with the price. The prices are as you see there. If you want to see any of them, well, yeah, if you want to see any of them, let me know, let me know, and we'll show them to you. Because, uh, yeah. D don't just buy them from there. Let me know. What, 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 what? Are we allowed to? Right. Um, we do gift cards. We do gift cards for Rotowing Street and Yarn Lane. If somebody buys a uh, Yarn Lane one, you can use it on Rotowing Street. If you use the buy a Sewing Street one, you can use it on Yarn Lane. Right. So you go to the top page, click on them on the front page, right? Or be right down at the bottom. But I need to tell you how to do it. So if we just... Oh, we are going to do it, yeah. Yeah, 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 says Cass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 
So look, Sewing Street gift card, what you do is you choose a type. So you either post it or email it. The post it one is obvious because we just post it to you. The email one, now look, you can choose 10, 25, 50 or 100 or anything between 10 pounds and five pounds, right? Oh, uh, what did I say? Oh, five. <laughs> 10 pounds and five pounds, 10 pounds and 500 pounds, right? But, 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 oh, hang on. If you do the email one, you can either have it emailed to you so you can print it up and give it to them. Or if it's for a birthday or Christmas, you can put in their email and ask when you want it to be sent, right? So you could do it to arrive on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Look, so you see, what's their first name? What's their last name? What's their email address? Um, add a personal touch. Who is it from? And then you either send it now or later. Choose a date and a time. 24th of December or 25th. There'll be nobody in the office to press it on the 25th. Christmas, I know Christmas morning, but there you go. How brilliant is that? We never show them. Oh, that's the first time I've ever shown them. It's the first time I've ever shown them. Was I here last Christmas? Or was I? <laughs> I thought I'd only been here a couple of months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hang on, I've been here. Well, when I came for my cup of tea, when I, I, do you know what the only reason I'm here? I came to meet Vix for a cup of coffee. She bailed out on me and I was, had to talk to Neil and Hayley. Ended up coming back. Well, I didn't come back because I never worked here before. But anyway, should we do some Christmas? Oh, Cat wants to do something else now. Do what? This costs £5.99. Normally, this costs seven ninety nine. Normally, if you bought them both together, it'd be thirteen ninety eight. We're just doing you all these deals that were supposed to be one day deals while the management away. This will stop tomorrow when they're back from Harrogate on Monday. When they're back from Harrogate, this will stop. You can get both of them. Look for nine ninety eight. You do need to use that code NH six six one six. Not code item number NH six six one six. If you buy that on its own and put it in your basket, buy that on its own, you won't get the discount. You need to buy them from that bundle. We sold hundreds of these over the last few days. It's only the weekend today, Cat. It's only the weekend today. Cat said hundreds went at the weekend. It's to weekends today. Message from Andrea. Fabulous visit to Harrogate show yesterday. Great to see Neil there having a look round. Oh, was he was he a nuisance? Andrea, Andrea, was he behaving himself? They all went out on the drink last night. Did you see? Neil doesn't drink, so he won't have been bad. But Ian and Paul and. Hayley Brandt and Hayley Marshall say both doing shots they were like that. Anyway. Both those native lighting lights are sold out. If you want to see any of the others, just let me know. And I'll, they're all on three-way split pace still. They're, nobody's taken them off that. So. Right. Come on. Hang on, there's something. Oh, yes. Hang on. What? Strip panels. Here we go. Right, now I'm going to tell you, right, you can buy these individually. How much are they individually? Nineteen ninety nine. You don't want to be doing that because you can buy them as a bundle, right? So you get this one. What it is, these are exclusive to us. They're two and a half inch wide each, though. So it's with the equivalent of a jelly roll, design roll. There are, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. Sixteen strips on that one. That's one. In, oh, there you go. She's going to do it that way. OK, so that one's the blue one. I thought you said don't buy it, though. Right. Come off that one then. We've also got it in red. Yes, but you can do that by doing the full price with them both. Kat's got this funny thing. Kat's got this funny thing that she wants to do them with. Joy. Oh, thank you for the shout out, John. It will be good to so good to visit an exhibition again. Enjoy your weekend. Oh, I'm glad you haven't gone yet, Joy. You have a lovely time, my love. Kat says sorry for being so, um, what's the word? Tardy, tardy. That was the word I was looking for. Tardy, not tarty. We all know you're tarty. Right, so you get this one and this one. No, no, you don't. That's the red one for 1999. So you can pay 1999 for that, 1999. If you want them together, this is establishing the price. You would pay 39.98. We don't need to show them individually. Go, crash. Half. Oh, we'll say you get one for free. It's a bog off. It's a bog off. So you buy one, you get one for free. 
Now, if you've already done your Christmas work and Christmas sewing for this year, buy it for next year. It's a bog off. That is $19.99 on its own. That's $19.99 on its own. You can't get them anywhere else at all. You can have both, right, for $19.99. Half price or bog off. Buy one, get one for free. One's blue, one's red and green, as you can see. Unless you're watching on a black and white telly, of course. Do they still have those? I don't. No, my whole life was black and white, Elliot. Not anymore. Not since I've met you. Now it's just a misery. Just what? I don't understand what that means. 1999. Bog off, Elliot. I'm not surprised half the stock's gone straight into baskets. If you've already made your Christmas makes this year, don't be thinking, oh, John, next year, put them in the attic, ready for now. No, don't put them in the attic because you won't, you'll forget they're there. Put them in your workroom and then, you know, or in your Christmas sewing box. Oh, people are multi-buying. You don't, you, you, you don't, well, yeah, you do have to multi-buy. The gift vouchers last for about a year, I think they are, aren't they? But I'll have a little, we'll double check for you. Cat will find out now on terms and conditions. They don't, on the radio, they don't call it terms and conditions anymore, do they? They called it terms and privacy or something like that now. Didn't Sophie Ellis Baxter do well raising over a million pounds dancing all for tw 24 hours? Did very well. Considering the kind of year we've all had, the people are so... How did, oh, actually, it was Children in Need last night, wasn't it? I was obviously in bed. I wonder how they did. I wonder what their total was last night. We'll have a look for you in a minute, anyway. Right. Vouchers. How long are the vouchers ready for, um, valid for? I think it's 12 months as well. So you get one, you get one for free. Buy one, get one for free. Bog off. There's only five left of that offer. And how many people in baskets? Okay, lots of you. Too many of you. Right, moving on. <sighs> Have we got them? They'll be in Delphine's tray in my rough. It'll be in my d d dressing room. That, do you know what? I had to remember I had a few days off. Where did I go? It wasn't Cornwall. It was before Cornwall. And I came back. My dressing room has had a whole shelving unit put in. I'll put a picture of it on Facebook uh, Live later. Not Live. Um, thingy later. Now, you need to know that this is Delphine's wall hanging. You do not get a template for the cow because it's already on there. Oh, she's brought the wrong ones in. So what you do is that is your 30 by 30 inch printed up cow. And then your finished one is going to look like this. However, the only template you get in here is for the baubles. Delphine's at Harrogate as well, if you would pop in and see her. There you go. That's what this makes. There you go. You need to get some fabric, obviously, for the back. It's beautiful, isn't it? Back in stock. 1990. You can't get it anywhere else. So, but you've got to remember, you do not get the template for the cow. Don't, that's a sore, sore topic. Do you get that and that? All your baubles are made out of these five inch squares. Hmm? Well, mm -hmm. better, no doubt. Sorry, I'm wittering away. I, I watch, there's a boy that I quite enjoy watching on the other channels, and he witters away to his producer. I know his producer, Jamie, very well. And they witter away, and you're like, oh, tell me what it's saying, tell me what they're saying. Right, I've also got the same one in the green and red, tartan. Very popular on pre-order this one. Remember, you do not get the template for the cow because it's already on the panel. So you make your baubles, Elliot. Have you got your baubles out yet, Elliot, for your Christmas tree? Not yet, he says. Do you have a Christmas tree? Do you? Well, I thought you'd be like Scrooge at Christmas. Bar humbug. Anyway, there's your baubles. Templates for your baubles. Oh, I've left my iPad over there, look. Oh, just in case you leave me. 
Nobody left me a message? Oh, honestly. He's a BBC weatherman. Oh, no. You <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yeah, I saw that. He did. He raised all that, raised all that money, didn't he? Doing his drumming. I, I've, I have difficulty. This is my own personal opinion. I have difficulty watching him. Anyway. Oh. Uh, hi, John. Should need raised over 39 million. You see... The people's generosity is fantastic because we've all had a dreadful couple of years, haven't we? And they can still raise 39 million. It's fantastic, isn't it? And also, when on the radio during the week, they had all different, um, uh, like, adverts of, like, visiting. And they said, you know, on Vanessa's show the other morning, she was saying, if you donate £10, it pays for this or it pays for that. And it's things that you wouldn't even think about. Do you know what I mean? It was quite shocking that... I mean, it's sad that children need therapists, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like all these different peop people, they can pay to help all these people to help kiddies. It's just amazing, isn't it? Right. Um, John, there's over 7,000 black and white TV licences in the UK. Are there? I bet they haven't told them yet. What do you want to do, Cat? Sorry. Oh, yeah, there. Okay. Now, is this the book? Yes, the, this is the wrong, this is, they've got the words wrong. It was the snowy night before Christmas, that's not how mine starts. And all through that quiet, sleepy house, no one was stirring, not even a mouse. Everyone dreaming of a joyful day to come, of happy times, Christmas wishes and food, yum, yum, yum. Stockings were hung by the chimney, tree glittering brightly with glass baubles and lights. This wasn't what I learnt. You can. Then suddenly with a bump on the roof, the house was awoken by bells and reindeer's hooves. Down the chimney with a whoosh and a billow of soot, Jolly Santa appeared in his bright red suit. He hurriedly filled all the stockings under the tree and placed the curb. Quickly, blink of an eye, blah, 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 end. Right? Were well, you loving that, Elliot? Well, you can make your own book, Elliot. Where? On Janice's next show, is it age 640 or age 630 we've got? Age 640, if you want to make some pages. It's very easy. When did we make this? What date do we make it? Of course it's been on air before. I've done it. I made it, I made it with either Janice or um, Barbara McClay. Oh, because it was in a kit. Because it was in a kit, that's why. Anyway, 14 99 is what you'll pay for this panel. Not today, it's not. Go. Till midnight tonight, 8.99. 8.99 for a panel exclusive to Sewing Street. What's that bit there? That's just a bit of coordinating fabric there. Lovely, isn't it? It says coordinating fabric. Because inside of that page is that page, isn't it? Look, because you start there. So you don't need any lining for the pages because the pages. Loads of these going into baskets. Carol says, no, that's me, not many decorations. Who's she talking about now? Battle of Hastings was 1066, says Georgina. Oh, message from Collector in Hampshire. Email gift card is brilliant. It was that arrived exactly when I wanted it to. Fabulous. Oh, he's not on, is he, tonight? He's not on? Lovely selection today. I do love you and your funny banter. Thank you, Carol. The management don't. They go mad at me. They go mad all the time at me. I don't care. What can they do? Sack me? Well, they, they can. They can sack me. <laughs> they can sack me. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, Craig Re Revel Hall's not on tonight, is he? He's got COVID. So they've got another lady. It, not another lady, because he's not a lady. They've got a lady, haven't they, um, going in. I don't know who it is, though. She looks very glamorous. But I don't know she, is she a dancer? I don't know. She's got one of those piercing nose there. Oh, what? Well, I thought that was somewhere else. 8.99. 8.99. What's the name of the lady that's doing the... Uh, Carol says, I think if they do sack you, they lose quite a few viewers. If they do, I think you meant to write sack you there, Carol. Sack, she means sack. 
No, thank you. Move. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. How brilliant is that? Okay, so Cat's dad still reads her a story the night before. We won't this year because you don't live there anymore. Yeah. That would be odd, wouldn't it? The first time you've never been in your home for Christmas. So, but, so, Jeremy still, oh no, where will Jeremy be on Christmas Eve? But he'll have to go to bed early because he's coming here the next morning. So, uh, Kat's mum and dad have always had Jeremy and Kat living there on Christmas Eve. Kat's now bought a house with her boyfriend, still not a fiancé. And they even went to the bank yesterday to get a joint bank account, still no fiancé. Did you have to answer questions like, what colour toothbrush does he use? Oh, no, that's what you want to say in the country, isn't it? Anyway, look, buy this. Eight ninety nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Loads of you got that in your basket. It's half price. You can't buy it anywhere else. What, what, what? Oh yeah, if you've got, this is cat, if you've got grandchildren, you've got to make more than one. Yes. Only that price till midnight, but they'll have sold by then. Annie Downs. Got two Annie Downs bundles. I've got a little one and a big one. Oh, okay, dark with this one then. Dark with this one. No, this isn't 12. Seven, it's got. Three and a half metres. Oh, it's all you down to a clearance price. 29.33, how much should it be? So you seven, 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 seven fives are 35. So it's not five pounds a half metre. It's seven fours are 28. It's four pounds something. 4.19 a half metre, that works out at. Annie Downs Christmas fabric, it's called the 12th, on the 12th. So you've got, I um, don't know what, okay. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Partridge in a pear tree. There's only partridge, only pears. What are these then? What's that? 12 acorns, acorning. 11 berries, burying. 10 stars are twinkling. Oh, the telly's gone. It's every half an hour, isn't it now? Every half an hour it goes. Annie Downs from Australia. She's very whimsical, she says. Hatched and patched for Henry Glass, this is. Hatched and patched, I'm going. Beautiful quality fabric. We've not had Annie Downs on the show, have we? Oh no, we couldn't do here, because we've been in COVID. Stitchery and applique patterns. You like what, Elliot? He loves conference pears. I tell you what, in our village, nearly every house got a pear tree in the garden, but they're those pears you can't eat. You can only make wine or cider out of. If it's hanging over your side, you're allowed to. Yeah, so Vic, where Vix's new house, the people next door have got a massive pear tree that hangs right over into Vix's garden, and she's been picking the pears off. Kat says she's not allowed to, but you are, if they're on your side of the fence, you're allowed to cut it, and you're allowed to pick them. Hey again. There's only nine of these left. Hello, John. She's called Cynthia a Revo, Broadway star, singer, dancer and choreographer from Janice in Gloucester. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, I didn't know who she was. But is she famous then? I know that name, Arivo. Oh no, they do the buses, don't they? That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Annie Downs bundle, this is a bigger bundle, this one. Nine, four and a half metres. This is, I like this one best myself, personally, because you've got like the turkey and the Christmas tree and the snowman on the two different colours. You've got the presents on the two different colours. You've got the holly on the two different colours. You've got have friends and family over in three different colours. Six, nine, nine and a half metre, that is. 
62 pounds and 91 pence. Well, the other one was lower, wasn't it? Whoa, 44.99 only till midnight tonight though. Hello? No, it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's only nine. Oh, four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, half a meter. Sorry, Kat. Oh, not without the neighbour's permission. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was hanging over your thing. You can just help yourself. Not without the neighbour's permission. Oh, Jennifer, I didn't know that. I thought if it was over your side, because my next door neighbours trimmed my tree down that was hanging over their side. Forty-four ninety-nine. Only till midnight tonight, though. Oh, here you go. My neighbour had an apple tree, and I've got a blackberry hedge. We make the best pies and crumbles between us. Oh, that's nice. That's called neighbourly, isn't it? Forty-four ninety-nine. Oh, I didn't know you're supposed to ask. I really thought if it was hanging over your side, you could do what you want with it. Remember that price is only till midnight tonight. It will go back at midnight on Saturday night. It will go back. That, you know, what it, what it is, is before we used to f get Hayley to reduce the price for us, you see. And then she was meant to put it back, but she get over, got overwhelmed with it. So now when we crash the price, it automatically changes back at midnight. So you, you won't be seeing all those, you know, we used to have, oh, it's another early bird, another early bird. Not anymore. Don't see that anymore. No, we don't know what we're doing. I didn't, I unpacked this morning. I went, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? No, it's your early bird, John. Twice I've done that now. Twice. Motor. Star. I've got this at the red, green, gold star. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I've got it here, this one. This isn't Moda. That's Rose and Hubble. That's Moda. Gorgeous. And that's Moda gorgeous. £18.47. That's your price. That is your price. Moda Star Flag Christmas Icy. Lovely bundle. Cat has to say that because she put it together. There you go. Look, so you get the Star Snowflakes. And the Splodges, right. There you go. We've just looked up. We've just looked up law. If the neighbour has a fruit tree and it hangs over your side, this Elliot's looked this up now. Technically, it's yours. I mean, obviously, be nice to your neighbour and say, I'm going to pick those pears. But anyway. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Elliot's got it wrong. Oh, Elliot's gone to another website now. And it says, no, that's not the truth. So don't be going outside. Come back in. Come back in. Picking your neighbour's pears. Don't you be doing that. Another message from Jennifer now. Uh, also, you can trim the grow, but you have to ask the neighbour if they want the cuttings. More often than not, they say keep it. I can imagine. I have to say, my next door neighbour snapped my whole tree when they were pulling off a the snap, the whole thing away. Oh, hang on. Technically, but you have to ask. Yes, thank you, Jen. You're just, Jennifer, you're just polite, not like us. Not like Vicky Gordon, just going picking the pears off the tree. I bet you any money, Maisie has pureed pear for her pudding every day. Who has? How do you know? Oh, God, you two. Gosh, goodness, I mean, you two. So, um, Vix and Kat are new best friends forever, right? She's just sent, pit Vix has just sent a picture of Maisie's spinach pancakes for her breakfast to Kat. Mind you, you see little Paul was sending Kat messages last night as well. He said her hair looked nice. What was he watching? Oh, because she put it on Instagram, that's right. Okay. We're going what? Oh, now another website says on no account must you pick it. Oh. Yep, Moda Batiks, Moda Batiks Christmas Bundle. So now, you'll look at these, first of all, and I love these, right? 
Tick John, they're not batiks. They are batiks, but then what they've done is they've stamped the gold stars on the top. So look, the fabric itself is batik. Oh, that wrong one to show you, really. What does that say? I did it. <laughs> did you live next door to me? I'm quite a difficult neighbour. There, look. So, so you can see it's a batik print, but then what they've done is they've then stamped the gold stars on the top. It's nice, isn't it, that one? You get half metre for free on this one. Half metre free. So you get the black, the red, the, oh, the, no, the wine, the green and the red. And But then you also get, look at these. These are gorgeous batiks, aren't they? All Christmassy batiks. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me fold this up. Perfect. Lovely. That's from Janice in the dressing room. Hi, John. She'll be Alpha in the screen version of Wicked. Done Broadway's Colour Purple, Sister Act, and she's an Oscar nominee. Oh, Janice, thank you. She's playing Elphaba. Oh, I love Wicked. I can't wait for that film to come out. I am. Um, Ariana Grande is playing um, Glenda. Galenda. Why haven't they used any of the. Why haven't they used Adina Menzel or any of that lot? They're too old. I saw Adina Menzel and. Um, oh, hello. You saw that? No, I've just broken. Look at the fabric. Sorry, my earpiece just snapped then when I was getting overexcited about Adina Menzel. Um, who was the first? Oh, Christine Chenoa, wasn't that? Christine Chenoa. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Wasn't it Christine Chenoa that did it? She was very little. She's very little and squeaky. Yeah, she's lovely. She's lovely. Right, okay, let's go on to, on to the table. Let's just make sure there's no messages. Talking about fruit picking, I used to what, look... I used to look wild mushroom picking with my granddad. That's Becky Alexander Frost. Anyway, I'll go back in a minute. We'll have a look in a minute. Right. Moda. I, oh, Picatia. Two different collections. Got Hustle and Bustle and Holiday Christmas. Oh, I've got no screen on this side. I'm going back to the other side. Sorry. I'm going over to the other side. We're going to start with Hustle and Bustle then. There's only 10 left though. Sorry, I just need to come over this side because I've got no screen on that side. Hustle. What just fell over then? No, something fell over over there. Hustle and Bustle, 10 inch square. Only been on air three times, 47.99. And it came in quite late actually this one, didn't it, for a Christmas fabric. 47.99. Not your price today until midnight. We've had no manager specials, have we? Oh, she used to love wild picking mushrooms with her. Wild. She used to love looking. No, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Becky Alexander Frost used to pick mushrooms. And her nose. Look, we love this. We think he's on the wrong fabric. But where has he gone? Because that's obviously like a dad little boy. The little boy's got stars as hands. No, no, no. We thought he was off. Which fabric did we think he was off? There was another fabric where there's a man exactly like that on. Anyway, beautiful, aren't they? Where are we going in price? £10 off. That's nice. Only till mid... Don't get used to these crashes. They're not... They're not that's lovely, isn't it? That colourway. Hi, John. I love watching you on Sane Street. My daughter went to school with Cynthia El Erivo and said she was a great actress from then, from Flora. Flora, so is she English? <coughs> is she English then? <coughs> is she Brit British, I should say, rather than English? No, not American, she's not an American. Oh, I look forward to watching that. Well, I won't be to watch it all, because I have to be in bed by the end of it, don't I? What time's it on on tonight? It goes on for ages. I think they're going to have to start doing two dances each soon, aren't they? Check out, check out, check out, 37.99 for 42 pieces, 10 inch squares. The somatic cap. Oh yeah, no. 10 left, 10 left, how many baskets? 
All right, 10 left, five in basket, so you've got five chances. Another one's gone. Another one bites the dust. That's nice, isn't that one there? These are Moda quality. Layer cake from Moda. You can call it that. Oh, this is the only thing I've got from the Hustle and Bustle range. That's nice, that Christmas tree. Oh, where's it gone? That's nice, isn't it? Do you know, in some parts of the country, mistletoe berries are red. Stop singing Christmas songs. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That grunge is lovely, isn't it? We love that one. Gorgeous. Keep going through for those. Keep going through. They will go back up to 47.99 at midnight tonight if there are any left. Oh, let me put that back on there. The only thing I have from the hustle and bustle range. What? Oh, you love those prints. I'll let Elliot put that away later. Holiday Christmas. Stacy E.S. Huzu. It's not my name, Stacy. It's not my name. Three times it's been on air. 47.99 normally. Will be 47.99 again. This is more traditional, isn't it? Be, um, will be 47.99 again after midnight tonight. You didn't ask about this one, Cap. This one wasn't on your list last night. Beautiful. Oh, I like this green. Look, 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 look. Never ever had those at Christmas. Have you? Even when I lived in America, we didn't get those. I think they're just sugar, aren't they? On oh, gelatin, I imagine they've got in. Father Christmas is from around the world. Baubles. Stockings. Snow people. There's snow people like show people. Uh, no, Donna, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Donna keeps asking me this question. Why do we say colourway and not just colour? No idea. It's just something. Uh, nobody knew. I've asked around. Nobody knew. Got the ball. Uh, what are they? Snowflakes. Beautiful. Oh, do you know? Right, okay, we found it out straight away. They started using colourway when they put the prices of yarn up. That's what they just said. Beautiful. That one's 37.99 till midnight tonight. Now, if you like that and you wanted this jelly roll, I'm not going to open this jelly roll. Because they're very, very limited. Imagine the price. There we go. I'm just picking the things up off the floor. Message from Flora. John, I wrote that message for my mum and we both screamed as we were so surprised that you read it out. That made our day from Flora. You didn't mean to send it to me. You meant to send it to your mum. She and I got the same number. Oh, she wrote it for her mum. I wrote that message for my mum and we both screamed as we were surprised that you read it. No, she tried to send it to her mum, look, not me. Flora, you've been drinking. 37.99, only till midnight tonight though. Oh, do you know what? I used to love a sherry. I don't drink anymore, you see. I remember getting, bit when I lived in Colchester, getting very drunk on a bottle of sherry. No, I never drank much. Just that one, that few, time, a few times. Do what? Are you going to fix this screen or not? 37.99. He's picking on me. He's picking on me, see. Yvonne McIntyre. Now, can I just say, before we do that, you see this fabric here? I don't know why I've got it twice. I've got the same one twice for some reason. Are they different codes? No, okay, so they've both got different codes on. 
No, they're both two and a half inch squares, 36 of them. Which code do you want first? No, which code is the two and a half inch one? Right, you see this fabric here? I'm having a shirt made out of that. I've got a very highly skilled lady making it for me. Anyway, you'll see it in a few weeks' time. I haven't got time to make a shirt. Nine ninety nine. Beautiful. So watch out. I will be wearing a shirt made out of that very soon. Message from Murray. Oh, Marie even. Hi, John from Ireland. Love the show. Thank you, Marie. Loving your company tonight. $9.99. Oh, dear. You two. Vix is all upset now because Kat came on my show and not on her show. She's always refused in the past, you see. So yesterday I couldn't keep her off. I'll do it, I'll do it. A bit like Ian. Ian, you want Ian's on, you can't get him off. Right, what so what should WIA645 meant to be then? Oh, okay, so it's labelled wrongly. You need to write that down when you send those back. If you do want the five inch ones, we have got them. There they are. I haven't got them here to show you. Same colourway. Five inch squares, so there's not as many, you don't get 36, you only get 20, but they're five inch squares. From Alice Caroline, some are Liberty traditional, some are recolored in by Alice Caroline. They're the oh no, they're different prints. They're different prints, look. Because my shirt one's not in there, is it? Yeah, no, because in the one I've just shown you, that you get four prints nine times. No, nine prints four times. Right, in the two and a half inch squares, but in the five inch, they're all different. That's what that means, Elliot. Right, Yvonne McAtamney, which one would you like first? Now, Vix had this one on her show. I saw her, I saw her lifting it up. Because Yvonne, in the break, made little clothes for them, didn't she? Sixteen ninety nine. Village fabrics, gingerbread man, Christmas wall hanging. There it is. What day was it? Oh, it was this week on Tuesday. I don't need. To, I didn't need to ask that, did I? It was this this week on Tuesday, the sixteenth. Oh, come on! Check these out. Not just instructions. Look, you get all the fabric. You don't get the wadding. I think you need to supply your own wadding. Hang on, it usually says you'll also need wadding, backing, fusible web and embroidery thread. Sixteen ninety nine, Mrs. Macadamia Nut. I think she's asked not to be on with me anymore. Yeah. Okay, Elliot, thank you for that. Elliot says he even he refuses to work with me. They draw str There's only you, though. There's nobody else left. You're the only one still standing, Elliot. 6 99 Anyone know any television directors? We've got a job going. Elliot's not leaving, don't worry. 6 99 What? No, it's pattern only. Oh! Oh, you get everything. What is it, then? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a whole quilt. It's not a quilt on your double bed. It's a mug rack. Oh, now I remember watching this because Vic says it's big enough for your mug and for your biscuits and things, didn't she? And then she started getting excited about all the different biscuits she could put on it, the big biscuits she could put on it. Oh, Sue, that's lovely. If you think about it, that lady was so pleased. Fla Flora, you mean, Flora. We're so pleased you read out a message because the interactive nature of the show is what sets it apart from all the other channels and why it has an army of fans. Some people don't like it. Some people hate me reading out messages. Go, just get on with the sewing. We don't need you gabbing on. Get on with some sewing. Hello, Blurter. Nice. What's the matter? What are you saying? 
cat's wittering on now about. I did switch my email off, but nobody. Oh, she sent her email back, so I do apologise. Oh, how long did you send that in, Cat? Cat switched her emails off. I do apologise, Melissa. Right, hang on a sec. You keep looking at that. I'll have to have a look to see if I've got it. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Is it this one? Has it got an oval-shaped top? Is it that one? I can't... I haven't got it. Oh, hang on. Where's the green box with the wires in? Melissa, wait there, found it. Hang on, is that the right one? Yeah. Melissa, 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 here. Is this the one you wanted, my love? Oh, sorry, we um, didn't read out your email. Oh, I hope she's still watching. Oh, I've got the wrong one. <laughs> I haven't got the lead for it here yet. This is what you want, Melissa. It's just the on-off one, isn't it? So this not, that's not on three-way split pay, surely? Oh, is it? Is it? It is. Is it? Is that? That's from the Vicar of Dibley, isn't it? That's... Oh, do you know what I keep picking? <laughs> no, I've got it. I've got, I've got one more to try. I've got one more to try. It's hard work, Elliot. It is working here, I tell you. Melissa, look, it's on split pay. Ooh, ow, I don't want people to see our filing system. No, none of these are going to fit either. Oh, I do apologise. Do get a wire with it. Twenty-three ninety-nine split pay of seven pounds and ninety minutes. It's literally just on and off. This one, on and off. Oh, there it is, not crafting, but if you want to do some nail work. For the life of me, I don't know why you're not five stars. Hang on. Oh, hang on, I better read this out, hang on. For the life of me, don't know why you're not five stars with feelings, because you're head and shoulders above all. I don't know what that means. What does five stars mean? Anyway, thank you, whatever it meant. <coughs> Hi, John. You're like having a family member in your house. Oh, you don't want me as a family member, I'm telling you now. Love listening to you and spending my money. Love, Mandy. Oh, thank you, Mandy. You don't want me as a family member. Even my mum was... Anyway. Hi, John. How many shirts do you have? They're all brilliant. From Sheila in Blair Gallery. I can, I can tell you how many I've got. I've got 100... Ones that I wear to come on the show, I've got 149. Well, I'll have 150 soon when this one's made. Yeah, they all fit me. They're the ones that fit me. The ones that don't fit me are in a drawer. And I only know that because I bought 150 coat hangers. They're all on exactly the same coat hangers in my dressing room, right? And I've got one, one hanger left. I gave loads to charity. When I was thinner... Oh, on Fifu. On Fifu. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, I've got, uh, when I got fat, I gave all my thin shirts away and now I'm losing, well I'm not losing weight but I'm changing shape to that, I, could, I can fit to my thin ones, again I gave loads of them away, very quickly, hi John, found your channel through Debbie Shaw, oh, did you say don't watch that John Scott, uh, I used to watch you on Sewing Quarter, didn't know about this new channel, I'm loving, great to see you from Catherine, Catherine, the channel's been here two years nearly and I've been here just over a year. And then we will go on. Morning, John. I watched to hear tales of your past life. Well, my past life's when I was a gem hunter and I was a cattle herder uh, and somehow managed to buy as well, but only when you're on. John, who's that from? Lynette. Will you tell the management that, please, Lynette? Because they won't believe you. They won't believe you. Right, we're going for a break. Oh, I've got to tidy up. Janice is up. Now, she's going to be making these. Doesn't look much on the shelf, but Elliot will show you a picture. Won't you, Elliot? He's going to fix, fix my telly. Now, the graphics say you can make two out of a panel, uh, out of a bundle, but we'll double check before she comes on. I think you can only make one. What's the matter? Yeah, reversible, but that's not two, is it, Elliot? I will see you in four minutes from now.
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining. Uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defence, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge so I look forward to seeing you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. What are you saying, Janice? You can't, can't distract me anyway. No, we're live on telly, just so you know. Um, do you know what? These are gluten-free. Oh, shh. I'm trying to talk here, Janice. Poor old Janice. She's, she's, she's not got COVID. She's done the test. We've all done the test this morning. But she's had this really, really, really bad chest. I've got really bad because, you know, she's an accountant during the week. She was having to make a really important call. I'm not going to say who to. And she couldn't finish the call. And it was, it was international, wasn't it, Janice? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, she's just, we were, she was fine. We were just chatting then. And then she suddenly just had a cough. She's got a water, so she'll be fine. Um, I'm, Janice, chuck me the, can you chuck me the thing over that we're going to make? <laughs> <laughs> we're throwing not your best that skill was really good, was it? at school, was it? No. Now, I'm sure there was something I had to say to you before we started. But anyway, I'll start. I love this. I'd have this with my kindling in, or my tinder in, round by the fireplace. Yeah, you get little bits of wood for the fire. Isn't it lovely? It's a big, big, this is the large size, right? This is the big one. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, I'm having this afterwards. This is going to my house. Oh, except it's in Christmas fabric. I'll bring it back after Christmas. So I'll just borrow it till after Christmas. 
Isn't it lovely? Now, it says on the, on the graphics here that it makes two. Oh, I know what it means. It doesn't mean you can make two out of the fabric. The free pattern has two different sizes on it. I bet you, any, we'll get it changed, we'll get it changed, we'll get it changed. I think that's what it means, is that on the pattern, the free pattern, you get two different sizes. This is the large, and Janice is going to make the smaller one in a minute. I think that's what it means. Someone's got a bit confused on that. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt anyway. Where, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 11.98, right now, what are you getting for your 11.98? I'll tell you, this is brand new fabric. I'm going to do this bundle first because that's one I've got here. So what you get is you get half a metre of this. Look, oh, you're getting a buzz message. So you get half a metre. This one is sledges and ice skates, right? And you get half a metre. Now, these look like rose hips to me. No, they're not Christmas lights, they're rose hip berries. Did you used to have rose hip syrup when you were little? No. You see, I did, yeah. and I said, oh, don't, don't make it anymore. Yeah. People might going, go, I have it. Oh, oh, I've run out of time, Elliot. Just so you know. Yeah, right. <coughs> and you also get this. Have you seen that big telly keep switching off? Yeah. Uh, winter <laughs> for you baskets. Now, I just need to point something out to you. These are all the instructions. There's the fabric, look. It's even got the fabric on the free inst Oh. No, they've all got that fabric, right? Oh, no, they haven't. They've all been printed up differently, yeah. But look, these are your templates, right? Don't come into shot, Elliot. Right, these are your templates. They are not to size, right? It says you need to multiply that one by 40% and that one by 50%. <coughs> you don't need to do that. Janice will show you how you can just draw your own up at home. Don't be thinking, oh, I've got to go to the library or the stationary shop or anything like that you don't have to do anything like that at all right that's but that you get all of that in there that's completely for free so you're only paying for the fabric so you get half a meter of this half a meter of this right that makes it six pound oh 5.99 half meter that's good isn't it so that's that one that's that one right now you can make any of the two sizes but you can only make one of each of the sizes out of it right then we're going on to this one here which is your um, bobble hats and mittens plus your little stars. Is this one? Oh, no, this isn't the one Janice is using. So, again, you're only paying for this. You're not paying for the pattern. The pattern is completely for free. It is, Elliot. They've each got their, they've each got their fabrics on. So, that's that one. Right, and then the other one is this one here, which is your, oh, it's the same, it's the same. It's the hat and the bobbles on grey, and it's the stars on red. Plus your free pattern, £11.98. Very quick makes Christmas. Now, what we were thinking was if you've got half a metre, now, would that work or do you need a metre? If you're going to make two, using that for the outside of one, and that for the outside of the other, yes, you'd still need a metre of fabric, wouldn't you, for the linings? Of course you would, yeah. So if you've got a metre of stash at home of a plain fabric, then you can make the two different boxes and have the turnover. But they are reversible, aren't they, yeah, Janice? they're reversible. So if you wanted to, you could have it this way around. Oh, I like that one, mate. I like that way. That's my... There you go. That's what I like there. I don't know what a Christmas Eve box is. So you give boxes on Christmas Eve? Yeah. You're supposed to give one box on, on Boxing Day. That's what, why it's called Boxing Day. You say one box for Boxing Day, didn't you? Not boxing. Right, okay, so would you like to buy the fabric on its own? Now, if you buy the fabric on its own in a bundle, do you get one of these? No, you don't, oh, okay. So, but look, you can buy the fabric as a bundle. I don't think I've got them by the half metre, have I? Okay, no, I've not got them by the half metre then. There you go. So there, if you want to buy this, three metres of fabric. They, have they already taken some money off then? Right, okay. 
What's the matter? So, half a metre, 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 half a metre. You can buy all of those for 33 99 You do get a discount. Not, we haven't done that. Somebody's just added it up. Works out at 5 66 for half a metre. Someone's added it up wrong, that's all. But the bundle is limited. Brand spanking new Christmas fabric today. Of course, we get brand new fabric at the end of November. Of course we do. <laughs> 33 night. But they're a nice quick make. They'll be ready by Christmas. You can make a lovely little selection of them, couldn't you? I'm just thinking, oh, oh no, we put a point set here in it. No, I'm, I'm always worried about having fabric plant pot holders because mine always yeah. spill over. Mm -hmm. Do you know what would be nice? You know Father Christmas leaves a stocking at the end of your bed sometimes. One of those, the big one of those would be nice. That's where you put your, your tangerine, your sixpence, your piece of coal, your yeah. piece of chocolate. Has your, has your boyfriend got one? Oh, you can't have one if he hasn't got one. Have you told Father Christmas? You've written your letter to Father Christmas. Have you got a chimney? You'll have to leave the French windows open for him. Upstairs, upstairs, the French windows, don't worry. Right, okay, so let's move on. Um, <coughs> uh, you're, the only other thing you'll need is you'll need some H640, which is here. This is a half metre pre-cut piece. That'll be enough to make one, won't yeah. it? Half metre be enough to make one. H640, so if you buy 10 of those, you'll end up, you'll receive 10 of these. It doesn't come joined together. Right. Right, okay, Janice. So start at the beginning, Janice, because you didn't have you haven't got a photocopier no, that will make enough. bigger, have no. you? And you haven't got you didn't have time to go to the shop to get no. it done. So what I did, I got six pieces of A4 paper, yeah. sellotape them together, and then literally followed using the rulers you have and literally followed these measurements. And I measured them both from like the end. Right. You know what I mean? Like two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. Then I measured the 32 across. Or you can do one inch or whatever. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just to make sure it's straight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you need to make sure they're straight. Of course you do, yeah. So, and I did that all the way around. Yeah. So it, it is straight. But um, the template for the small basket, you see, it says 32 centimetres. Yeah. Well, that's nowhere near 32 centimetres. Well, no, obviously, no. So you just make it up to 32 centimetres. So yeah, so you just draw on your piece of paper, you get that, a ruler, and you draw a line. Oh, it's almost, so yeah, it'll be it's almost twice. Double, it's double that. Yeah, so you draw a line so that's 32 centimetres long. Then 25 down. Yeah, and then, then seven and a half Seven in. and a half Oh, it's in. easy then, So it's it? easy enough, and then you've got your grain line. And then you measure your seven centimetres down. But I did that afterwards. I measured it after I'd actually made the, the template, bag, yeah. if you know what I mean. Oh, after you made the bag, So, yeah. yeah, so that's what I did. So let's have a look at your so finished pattern piece. It's then. an easy make. So that's my finished Right. Piece. And this is the small one you're doing now. And this is the small one. Yeah. You see, so that's, that's why you can't get more than two out of the half metre. Because no, it's not small, can't. small, is it? Well, we'll see when you've made no, it up. No, it's still quite big. So, yeah, so that's... You, you don't need to blow up or whatever, mm -hmm. you can always manage it. So the first thing you do, you get your, you, you cut out the inner bag and the outer bag, both twice. And then the first thing you do is do, put, do the wadding. Yeah. So now this wadding, you can iron it on and that will make it easier managing it as you're right. working with it. Yeah. So I do that first and just press that on. But what you've got to realise here... Oh, yes. Because we're going to be cutting the, f the actual facing away, the webbing away from the seams to make slimmer seams, you only need to, mach to iron press it. Oh, you know so if mean. you cut it out... Yeah. So once so you've done your pattern for your fabric, yeah. if you made another pattern that was a centimetre smaller all the way around, that could be your wadding. Yeah. Because then, then it won't go into... And then it won't is it go a into... Is it a centimetre seam allowance on this? Uh, yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So cut your wadding so out, you a centimetre smaller, smaller all the way or around. Yeah. just yeah. make sure you don't, yeah. you know. Yeah. So if I just press that on... Yeah, you definitely got it sticky side sides. to the fabric. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh because you'll start coughing. <laughs> I know. I can't have too much of a laugh today, but no. because if I cough, I cough. Dennis, I can't, <laughs> I, you know what? I cannot get over how brilliant you look. I know you're not very well, but you look the best I've ever seen you look. Really, 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 really health-wise. giving up all that food, isn't it? I know. 
and alcohol. Jan, uh, well, Janice has, uh, well, you, I'm not going to say what's wrong, but Janet has, like me, she has, you have issues with your tummy, don't yeah. you, basically? So yeah. she's just found out what foods it is she's not supposed to eat, which in theory was a lot, wasn't it? Everything. And yeah, basically everything. But how much of a difference does it make oh, to your life? I'm not sick every night. No. Janice used to be very, very poorly with her tummy. And she, she could eat anything, not she couldn't eat anything, she'd eat and then be very poorly later on. Now that they've worked out what it is that's um, affected her, like, my, like mine and everything, and life is so much better. It is. It's a lot better now. I'm still eating, so. no, I'm, I'm not allowed coffee, crisps and tomatoes. On coffee. Coffee, crisps, tomatoes, right, and have all of those. And I can't have meat, alcohol. Well, I don't have those anyway. Coffee, caffeine, yeah. that's all. Fizzy drinks. No, no I can't have fizzy uh, drinks either. Anything, onions, garlic, so I can't have curries or no. anything like that anymore. So it's not good. Not good. But, then, but then what would happen if we went on a special, say it was Martin's birthday and said, let's have a curry. Well, it's like last Saturday I went to that big boxing gym in London. Oh, yes, yeah. And they didn't have alcohol-free wine or nothing. They oh, didn't no. have nothing alcohol-free. Water. So I started water. with water. Water. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, I can't drink this. Yeah. Not. So I ended up having a drink. And then, believe it or not, I got more drunk. Because you haven't had a drink for so because long? Because I haven't had a drink. Oh, Jan, it's a bit you're funny when I you're know. drunk. But it was so funny because I'd said to Martin, whatever you do, don't show me up and drink. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and it was me who got, showed him up. I got tiddly. And when I get tiddly, what well, the other thing is, because I've given up all this food and everything, my nails are better than ever. But when I get drunk, I bite them all. And Why? I, I bit them and I thought, I'm going to go on show with really nice nails. And then last Saturday, I bit the last oh, one. Oh, but were you poorly afterwards? <sighs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought the story was, oh, no, I was fine <laughs> after that. Oh, because anyway. I can get away with some of mine every now and then. Yes. But then if I do it too often. Yeah. Yeah, we are having a coffee every morning, which isn't good for me at all. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, Janice, you're sounding very posh so. this morning, says Sue. Oh, posh. Uh, hardly. Something wrong with your <laughs> telly. It's the voice. It's got yeah. to be the voice. Yeah. It's got to lose my accent. Anyway, sorry. So what you've done. So what I've done, I've wanted to clip the both sides. Now, on the pattern, it says do the bottom first, but I'm not going to tell you to do that. Do the sides first, because what we've got to do, we've got to split the seam. Right. And it makes it awkward if, if you've sealed that. So always start off with the sides. Don't okay. start with the bottom. Okay. And all I'm going to do is machine. Are you going to be sewing through the wadding today? Yeah, sew through, so through the wadding. So, and you've got the right sides together there and yeah. the wadding either side. And we're just going to do a centimetre seam, which I think is a bit too... I'm going to go for eye baits. Why? Even what it's, well, it's thing is, it doesn't matter. As long as you're both matter. the same, it doesn't matter, does I'm it? I'm going to do the five eights because okay. I'll tell you for why. Because if we're going to split the seam, it's not going to leave us enough to do what I'm going to show you yeah, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so. And you haven't got a walking foot on, so if you haven't got a walking foot at home, no, you, you can, can do, do it. walking foot. It's not too thick. No. So I'm just going to machine down there first. But it is a lovely little make, very quick. Yeah. And like you said, I mean, years ago, we had our pillowcases with our Yeah, yeah exactly. Nuts and our yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so then we... we um, Got better with stockings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never had a stocking, apart from ones that ladies have made me, uh, you know, the Aww. ladies have made me, but I've never had a stocking. And then the advent calendars, of course, have come out and got better, haven't they? Yeah, I've never had an advent. Well, I've had Aww. chocolate 99p ones from Sainsbury's. Yeah, but not a nice one. Yeah, the lovely body shop one cost you £300. The Liberty one, I've <laughs> the Liberty one this year. <coughs> Beautiful they are. Oh, you're all coughing. I've got cat coughing down my ear, you coughing in here. <laughs> I'll have to sanitise myself before I leave the building. Up to yesterday, I didn't think I was going to make it. Oh, no. I thought, I I'd be having to make it that now if you hadn't I thought, I don't up. believe this. But, yeah. So then what you've got to do... Now, really, I shouldn't have done the other side. So, again, what I'd do... Oh, Janice. Do the side, split the seam, sew it. When you say split the seam, right, what do you Right, so mean? what we're going to do... You have to open it out. Yeah. You have to cut away... The wadding. Yeah, oh, right, OK. OK, so we've cut the way the wadding. So you've got plenty of time, Janice. First. So we want to make the seams smaller. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Look, I haven't I haven't pressed it this side. I bet you I have the other side, though. <laughs> but even if I cut the one strip away... Oh, I was thinking about the wadding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so... Oh, no, no, no. No, no you're look, all right. I did good there, look. <laughs> the best advent calendar I had was the sewing quarter one. Yeah. I still use half the bits and I gave the majority of them away. Anyway, oh. I used 
I'm still using half the bits in it, and I gave a majority of them away. Oh. Carol, that's nice as present. What? So then what you have to do, once you've cut the wadding away, yeah. open the seam out, mm -hmm. and then you sew that seam either side. Oh, I see. So I've never come across this before. We haven't got um, a sleeve board, have we? No. Not to worry. I'll do it this way. Yeah. So I'm going to press it down first. Now you do this on all the seams. Right. So you'd be sensible to do one side seam first of all and do that one because that would make it very easy, wouldn't and it? And it'd make it easy. Yeah. Not like me. <laughs> no. Well, you'd have to do the second one like this anyway because the first one's already stitched up. But I also see what you mean if you'd stitch the bottom if up. It, you'd yeah, have got, it would you have been or even more awkward, Well, I did it? it. And the trouble is, you see, and I thought I must remember to tell the viewers that because once you've done it with wadding to take the stitch out. Oh, yeah, nightmare. <coughs> oh. It's a nightmare. <coughs> so I didn't bother. I thought, I won't bother, I'll just, I'll just tell them on air and do it this way and yeah. hope for the best. So all I'm doing again, just trim it down. I just need to remind you that it says makes two on the graphics. You cannot make two with the bundle. We're taking it out now. Right. That's it, that's that gone. Okay, so I'm going to just press... Gone now, there you go. Over. It's gone now. You will have some fabric left over, not but lot, not uh, enough to make a whole Not a lot. Just enough to make something small. Yeah. So I just press that. Makes it a bit neat. And then what we've got to do, so it's five millimetres either side, so I just did it a quarter of an inch. Okay. So then I actually put my foot in the middle of the seam. Rather than putting your foot in your no, mouth, eh, Janice, what you normally do. Put your <laughs> Is that what they say? So put, put your foot, foot in on it. the edge. And just watch now that you don't catch the back. If, yep. Like I say, it, we should have done it one at a time. Mm -hmm. But you can get it done doing it this way. It's just a bit more tricky. So. And it gives it a neat finish. Yes. But um, why she does it as well. Yeah. Or whoever did the pattern. Yeah. To um, make the bag a bit stronger, so it yes. Oh no, I agree. It looks nice as well. So suddenly it starts look nice. I'm just. Uh, there's no name gone to it. Just says it was designed in Denmark. So that's that. The big, the big um, pot is 20 by 20 by 26 centimeters. The small one is 15 by 15 by 18 finished, just so you know. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm only going to do this on the sides. On the pattern, they do it on every single seam. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it on the sides. I don't think I've touched my water today. Janice, I'm going to slurp some Haven't of my you? water down now. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that, it looked like... Um, a fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do that as a fire extinguisher. <coughs> oh. Yeah, fire extinguisher. Oh, sorry. Fire extinguisher, sorry. <laughs> Cat thinks it's pink, though. Does she? Yeah. Right. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see the stitching. Panic's left. It's all right. Come out, you devil. What's the matter? Oh, That's it. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. No. Right. So that's the one side. So if you look at the one side, see? And it gives it a bit of an... Even though it don't matter because it's going to be lined, doesn't it? Uh-huh. So, so if I just do these sides, are we okay for time? Yeah, plenty. You're not even halfway through yet. That's okay. I just want to make sure I've got the time to do yeah. it. And you do it on the lining as well, the split seams. Like I say, I won't do it on that. I'll, we'll just go on making it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I just wanted to show you. Yeah, because if you did it, when you're making it for real, you want to do it on both of them, because if it's reversible, you don't suddenly <coughs> want to have one that's got no, stitching, that's one not it. got stitching. Remember, Janice is using the uh, 570A sewing machine. Uh, it's on four-way split until Sunday, till tomorrow nice machine it's lovely isn't it 
Now, the price has gone up. We did say that when the other one sold out. It has gone up by £40. And if you Google it, you'll find 99% of shops sell it for £699 if they've even got any stock in. So just a thought there. We sold loads yesterday. Lots of people getting them. And remember, if you, if you do it on split pay, we send it to you after you've paid your first payment. Oh, it'll be, um, oh, hang on, four into that. Four, it must be about £150, is it? £160? Something like that. Are <coughs> you all right, Janice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor old Janice has got to go to work tomorrow as well, so you won't get a day off this week. No, I know. I hope Martin's going to pamper you this <laughs> afternoon. No, I've got, got to do my sewing room out this afternoon. What do you mean? Well, his daughter's coming on Tuesday. And, and is that so your sewing room and bedroom? <coughs> yeah, my sewing oh, room's a bedroom. No. And the stuff I've got in there, you wouldn't get your breath, John, because be, I've been sewing 40 years, so you can imagine. Oh, my And, of course, word. when my family have all given up yeah, yeah, all you... my aunts. Hey, you are, Jan. <laughs> you need him to buy, build your she shed in the garden to put all your stuff in. I need in. something. Right, so there we go. So you've got the nice finish on both yeah, sides. Yeah, perfect. So, and then you do the bottom. And again, I'm not going to do it, but you split the seam on right, this as okay. well. Okay. Now, on this one, we do close it up 100%. It's on the next one, we have to leave it open. Oh, of course. To yeah, pull to it, through. it through. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly go down this. And that's that one done. Right, so. Yeah. So if I turn it the right way out for now, you can see, judge it, how big it's going to be. Yeah. Can't you? Looks like Elliot's pants. That does. To the other one looking. Isn't it cute? Cute, yeah. Right, so we do the same with this. <coughs> oh. Sorry for coffee. Don't so worry, Janice, don't worry at all. Again, we just machine down. So now there's no interfacing or anything on this, no. is it? It's just no. the fabrics this, itself. This is just the fabric. That's the outer, this is the inner. Yeah. But again, it's reversible. Yeah, of course. So you can, you know, do as you like, really. So I'm going to keep the seams exactly the same that I was doing. Because mm -hmm. it is a thick webbing, um, I'm going to do them both the same. Yeah. But you'd probably do a centimetre or whatever seam you want to do, of course. Yeah. Do that one. Do that one. Kat, are you able to see there how much the um, split pay on the sewing machine is? If it's four-way. Just do it quickly and then we can see. While Janice is just saying that, because I just was just telling everyone about it and then I went, oh, it must be about 150. Anyway. During I Covid? Could, I'm couldn't... usually really good, but I'm tired today. You couldn't get sewing machines during Covid at all, could you? No, not at all. Nobody had them? Yeah, no. Well, we said, when we had, when we sold the last of the 570s, we said, right, that there were no, that we wouldn't get it in before Christmas. We had no, no idea. Oh, 159, 159, four times. But what I was trying to say to you is you pay, your, if you want, you don't have to pay, take split pay, no interest charge. If you do take split pay, right, you don't pay, we send it to you after you've paid the first one. So you don't, it's not like there's Christmas clubs, you have to pay it all before you get it. So if you pay 159.75 today, on Monday, Eleanor will get an email saying, send one to Janice in, where do you live, Birmingham. Um, and then, and then it'll, it, wheels in motion will start because they're in stock at Eleanor at the moment, ready to be sent out to you. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about more tomorrow because the, the, the offer finishes tomorrow. So once you've done that, what you have to do mm -hmm. is box out the corners. Right, you have. On each one. Okay. Yeah. So here, open the seam out. Again, press that open, I would. Yeah, so you press your seams. Press your seams you open along, yeah. as you're going along. Open it out. And make sure the seams match. So get a pin, go in the one seam on the one side, go into the other seam on the other side, bring them two together so they match up straight away. Who's that from? Catherine. We had a message from right. Catherine saying hello. Catherine, uh, she, she said, Janice, hello Janice, hello John, loving the show. Uh, she messaged <laughs> yesterday as well, apparently, about, um, yes, yeah, sadly, my Norman and Nellie are in 
Pussycat Heaven now as well. Oh. Uh, she lost her two cats during lockdown. Mine were before, I lost Norman and Nelly two years ago now, just, just before, well, yeah, just before the lockdown, just before the lockdown. Oh. It's two years, it doesn't, it's weird, goes isn't so it? Goes so quick, goes so I know, so goes quick. so quickly. And I still think, if I'm sitting on the sofa, I still think I can hear, I can hear the cat flap going. I can't, because it's glued down. Or I think I can see them in the corner of the room. And oh. one day, I'm doing my Facebook Live on a Sunday, if ever you join in on my Facebook Live on a Sunday, we'll talk about Norman and all the lights flashed. And we thought, oh, it's just an electrical fault. Makes and I talked to her again, the lights flashed again. It was really weird. It does make you wonder. No, it doesn't make you wonder. I know, I know, I'm, o I'm I open mean, to all that. What happened to me when I lost Clive in America? Yeah. I says to Amy that on his birthday in the August we'd be in Magic Kingdom. And I was stopping at this place, the Sheverton World Resort. And as we've gone in to have breakfast, they were playing I Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Yeah, yeah. And that's Clive always sung that song. Oh, you see, and I Amy went, Mummy, that's Daddy's song, because she was yeah. eight when he died. Yeah. And she went, Mummy, that's Daddy's song. And I thought, yeah. Really oh, weird. No, no, it was no. Out of all I, the I believe they to send play. us messages. I know other people don't, and it's a personal thing. I believe in it. But I, I totally know. believe in it, yeah. I do. And it was just weird. Mm. It was just. Especially for her to pick it up. I thought, gosh. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It was amazing. But then children, they say, if you believe in this, they say children are more susceptible to picking things like they that up, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, aren't they? So I'm just doing the same with the other uh -huh. side. <coughs> My chest. Don't worry, Danny, you're doing brilliantly. Nice. When you're working tomorrow, will you not have to speak to anybody? Can you just have no. a, so you can I'll, rest your yeah, throat I'll completely throat. tomorrow? Yeah, I'll rest my throat tomorrow. Is it just you in the office on your own? No, I've, I'm going with Marie, a, a friend. Okay. And she's going to be doing all the voices. Got a message from Pat in. for you. Join the demo, Janice. Interestingly, I received a board bag like this from Danish friends, and it was oh. described as a bread bag for the table. Oh, that's a good idea. Isn't brilliant it? That's idea, amazing. isn't it? The amount of bread you eat, Janice. Yeah. You'd have to have two of these, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> that's a good idea. Oh, no, how lovely. Oh, well, let's, let's see how, how brilliant this, how that's big amazing. the small one is when you come back. How lovely. What a good idea. And you can warm the bread and keep it in yeah. there. Oh, keep it in the basket. Oh. And it wouldn't mark it so much, would it? And you do what, Kat? I need to just turn this one back. Oh, she wants to dip it into camembert. No, you dip it into your... Um, <coughs> you have loads of lashes of Lurpak. Of course, someone's eaten all of all of Kat's Lurpak that was in the fridge here. We don't know who it was, oh. but whoever's in the office during the week, if you've eaten the Lurpak, it was Kat's, right? Other <laughs> other other butters are available. <laughs> or you could dip it in um, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Oh, oh look, I'm dribbling. <laughs> it's <laughs> nearly lunchtime. Oh, no, drooling. it's only half 11. He's drooling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, and, um, oh, Elliot. Elliot would have that cheese. Uh, uh, spreadable cheese. garlic and herb cheese. Not Philadelphia, oh. the one that comes in the round thing wrapped in silver paper. Oh, Borsan. Borsan. Other that. ones are available. And I like the roulons with the nuts on the outside. <laughs> you see, Claire says, when her boys were little babies, they'd often focus on a spot midair and smile or laugh. Yeah, exactly. Norman and Ned, Norman could tell when there was somebody else in the room. Oh. I'm just doing the last one now. Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry, Jason, it's fine. We should get, have you got a loaf of bread with your cat? <laughs> any bread with you? You've got your French fancies. Oh, are they oh. hers, the French fancies? Yeah, she had three for her breakfast. <gasps> and then she had, what was that round thing you were eating? What was in the middle of it? <laughs> no, it was brown in the middle. No, that was like dark, like you put Nutella on it or something. Oh, Nutella. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've never had one that go that colour. That was funny the other day because I've got this, because I'm I kind of dairy or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. That was funny. I've got this dairy free chocolate ice cream. Yeah. And I went and put Nutella on it. And I'm like, oh, that's lovely. Oh. And I thought, of course, Nutella's dairy, isn't it? <laughs> 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 so I was completely defeating the objects. Oh. I'm going to have this Nutella, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I'm not allowed chocolate, am I? Oh, no. Chocolate makes me cough as well. <laughs> Does it? Make yeah, you cough? cough really badly. That's Gosh. why now I, don't, I normally don't have anything the whole five hours because yeah. I was coughing really badly. Really coughing Today badly. I had an oat, that oat biscuit, but that's yeah. all I've had. Right, now what you have go to on do then. on here yeah. 
cut into that and then split screen, split seam. <laughs> no, split split screen. screen. <laughs> split the seam. Yeah. So you have to do that with them and it will stand a lot better yep. as well, okay, apparently. Yep. apparently. Mm -hmm. So then what we've got to do... I right, just need to check you have left I a did. gap. <laughs> yep. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, all right, I can see. Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I always do. <laughs> you normally always forget it, don't you? Right, hang on, what are you doing? Right, I'm now putting... <laughs> this is where the fun starts. You have to turn one of them so round. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, sorry, Janice. Right, so Let's turn one round. Tuck the one in the other one. Yeah, right sides together. Yeah. Hang what are you looking minute. for? No, I was just making sure it's all open at the front. Oh, no, 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 no sorry, no, no. Oh, you're putting wrong? Seams. No, you need to put right sides together. I'm doing that, aren't I? Oh, I'm gone. I'm getting confused. No, no, again. put the red that's one inside. That's, that's it. That's got to go in there. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> Nearly. I'll tell you. Match up the seams. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> like I said earlier, John. And what you do, you do split seam on all these. Don't yeah. forget as well. So. Right. Oh, it's good fun. I know. That sewing's meant to be, isn't it? It is. We can have a laugh, haven't you? Oh, I do love sewing now. I really do enjoy mm. it. You've been doing it for long enough. I know. I still make mistakes. So I don't feel <laughs> 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 So what I always do as well is join the seams up together first. Mm -hmm. Then open that out. Like so. And the... Funny parts afterwards with the way they, did they do some it's right to think I've got to work this out. So once we've done this, okay, go round. I'll use the clips for this bit. Are you hot, John? Why are you? Yeah. I can fix that for you, Janice. Oh you no, don't sewing? give me a cold wash your cold air, whatever you do. What's the matter? <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't, don't know what she's hear. talking about now. <laughs> she's mumbling away. She's hungry, you see. <laughs> no, I was just thinking, don't give me a load of cold air. No, no, I'll just take the chill off, the warmth off, because it is getting a little bit... Um, Are you warm? Uh, I'm just perfect at the moment. You're just perfect. Well, no, I'm never perfect, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so what we're doing now... Yeah. ...is just joining the top. And you can either do this whatever way you want yeah. to do it. So then we just machine around the whole top of there. Perfect. Oh, I've just remembered I've got... What's the matter? Don't need the free arm, Elliot, for this one. Oh, what was he saying? About he's saying, Janice, you can use it as a free arm, he's saying. Yeah. I remember the first time I did that and people wondered what I was doing, didn't they? Do you yeah. remember? If talking ghostly experiences, I can tell you a few from my old house. Very interactive experiences heard by others too. And I was a non-believer before. Oh, Carol. Yeah. How are we doing for time? Where? How are we doing for time? You've got ages. You've got okay, about... That's good. 12 minutes, no, because we have to finish early, don't we, that's for good. yarn lane. 12 minutes we've got in total. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> now this is going to be squiffy at the top. What, Janice? It's be, you know, at the top where it's puckered a bit. Yeah. That's, that's annoying. If you haven't got a walk, <coughs> excuse me. If you haven't got a walking foot, use your walking foot just to be on the safe yeah. side, or just so it properly. See the other one went down, wasn't it? Whoops! Are you working tomorrow, John? Hey, I am. I'm in you tomorrow. Are. Emma Bradford tomorrow, but then I'm not in until next Friday. Oh, aren't you? No, just two days next week. Nice. Just push that out of the... Because if you do get a bunch, ladies and gentlemen, just push, get your seam with her. Yeah. And just push, push the crease too. out. That's that done. Okay. Uh-huh. Right then. So then... Ooh. No. 
Oh, oh, look. Oh, what have you done? I know, it was something. <laughs> Did Elliot not fill your bobbin? No. Oh, Elliot. No, I did it, I did it. The no, bobbin. Elliot, Elliot. I thought I'd got enough on there. Yeah, let's do a recap while we're filling the bobbin. Right, so if you want to make this swap, well, you can make any of them, big one or small. <coughs> oh, oh, the telly's gone again. Right, so which one do you want to do first? This one? Okay, that's this one here. Most popular bundle so far. So you get the pattern for free. And then you get half a metre of the rose hips, half a metre of the blue. What's the matter? Um, stop muttering, Janice, I'm talking. Uh, you get half a metre of the blue uh, ice skates. Oh, that'll be starting soon, won't it? When's dancing on ice, or is that in January? Then you've got the rose hips, you get the free pattern with the templates there. £11.98, that's the most popular bundle. Okay, then we've also got the one that Janice is using, which is this one. Is it not? Yeah, this one. Second most popular, so you get half a metre of the, um, what are those? Mittens and hats on grey, and the red stars, and the free pattern. £11.98. And then last but not least, this one here, which is your um, beige hats and, and bobble hats and mittens, plus your blue stars, plus your instru instructions for free. Gorgeous. £11.98. The only other thing you'll need, apart from a sewing machine, is H640. Now, these are already cut into half metre pieces. If you buy 10, you'll get 10 of these. They won't come joined together. At uh, 5 dollars uh, 640 is fusible fleece, fusible on one side, not on the other. You all right, Janice? Sorry, darling. No, don't apologise. Still got... I've just got to just re-pin it, re-tack um, it. Um, what are those things called? Clip it. Sew it, clip it. And I have to click it. It's not like I can just go... Mm. Mm. <laughs> i tell you what else I've got to do. You keep sewing. You, you keep sewing. Okay, you keep I will. I I'm will. Coming <laughs> we haven't played these. Oh, hang on. I've got the code. Oh. QDE142. <coughs> this was my uh, manager special from yesterday. While Janice is just pinning that, you're not missing anything. These, I think, do you use these, Janice? These huggies? No. What are they? Well, I use them for the cables behind my telly, right? <laughs> Q, D, E, oh, hang on, they might have sold out. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, Q, D, E, 142. Right, so these, if you've got a spool of thread, you know, some thread, and the, and the end goes loose, and you, you just pop these round it. Yeah. And it stops your threads going all over the drawer, look. They're brilliant. And they can fit the bigger rolls as well, and they can fit on your bobbin as well. They're great. 9.99. My cotton's not up all my the time. special price. Hey, we're going cheaper than the Long River, aren't we? Five ninety nine is where we're going. What? What? Five ninety nine. Was meant to be yesterday only, but I thought I'd do it now while Janice is just stitching around there. Yeah, it's Janice's fault because she didn't fill the bobbin properly. <laughs> Didn't After, well, really when the management it. shout at us for doing it, we'll just say, well, it was Janice's fault. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> People are multi-buying. People are multi-buying. People are multi-buying. Right. <laughs> Brilliant Christmas presents. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Right, Janice, back to Janice. Okay, then. so then yeah. what you do... Ooh. Oh, what have you done? I don't know what that was. <laughs> So what you do then? Yeah. Turn it right side out. What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? <coughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What? Mutter in, Janice. No. Have you left your hole big enough? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the aircon, the aircon's affecting Janice's right, throat. So I've now taken, put the chill on the air, and then we'll switch the aircon off so Janice doesn't cough. Right, what you have to do is to secure the bo bottom. Yeah. You then. Oh, okay. Have to 
get the one side and the other side and sew that down like so. Oh, I've never seen that before. No, I haven't. So is that to stop the lining <coughs> popping out then? No. This is on the inside, right? Yeah. So you do that first to that. Yeah. Machine it. Well, this is a it's new one on it's me. It's took me ages to work it out. Yeah. And I've been thinking, oh, yeah, if I get this right. Yeah, I hope you do as well. So, <laughs> so then you sew that seam. Yeah. Then you turn the bag. Through. Through. Well, I never. I know. It's not going back for some reason on the machine. What have you done? <coughs> oh, you reverse. Oh, yeah. you're all right. Do you want yeah, to I'm fine. Are you sure? So yeah. then you turn it all the right way through rounds, the hole. Through the hole. I always call this bagging out, but some people call it birthing, you know. Yeah, birthing Birthy. of the bag. I know. <laughs> Was it Lisa Lamb? I can't remember if it was somebody like Lisa Lamb that says it. I can't remember now. So then, yeah. you turn this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Janice, we only have to go home at one o'clock. <laughs> right, let me pull it through. It's easier with the bigger bag. <laughs> well, question from, it's easier on the bigger bag. Question from who? <laughs> Joyce, love the show. Please can you confirm if you can make the large basket from the one metre. This, you can definitely make this from the one metre. From a half a metre of the two different fabrics. You've got half a metre of the inside, half a metre outside. You do have a little bit left. You do have a little bit left, but not enough to make another one. Nice. They all they look like multicoloured quavers. Other crisps are available. Oh yeah, those. Don't eat them, Kate. Don't eat them. They're right, called now, huggies. Aren't, can... they, aren't they um huggies? Aren't they um nappies that you pull on pants? Oh, there you go. So that's the bag at the moment, right? They then what you have to do. You oh, huggies, these are called huggers, sorry. You have to go, go once you've opened it up, Yeah. you have to go in to the side side, and pull out the seam that you haven't done. Oh, okay. Which is that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you do the same with that seam then. You and you do the same one. with this seam. Well, I never. <laughs> That's a first yeah. on me. Hang on, I've got to find the other side. Yeah. Jump. No, great. It's easier Jump on the big the one. Him. Make the big one first. So you get that one. Yeah, where's the other one? Yeah, then? make the big one first. I'm trying to find the bloody thing. Well, you're, looking for the, you're looking for the seam on the line. Oh, I'll just you? say it's a naughty word and I shouldn't have. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> don't, don't say it again. <laughs> oh, gosh, where is it? You could have got away, didn't you? You say anything. There we go. Elliot did There though. it is. Got it. And then what you have to do is this. this. <laughs> yeah. You can see it better on the on the bigger on bag. On the big one, yeah. Is this it? I don't think it is, you know. No. Don't worry, nice. don't worry. So you find so the seam. You find the, the seam the of the other one. And yeah. then find the seam that you haven't stitched. Yeah. And you do exactly the same. Okay. Okay? Right. And then you machine that, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Then push it, back in. push it all back in. Then you sew your hole up. Yeah. You know. Did you do yours by hand or by machine? By hand. Because because it's gonna be on, no, on show, isn't because it? Because yeah. it's gonna be reversible. It's best for you to do a ladder stitch yeah. and go into the seam there. Yeah. So you don't see it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, go yeah, in perfect. with a ladder stitch. Yeah. Then what you do, you do a machine stitch. So what you can do, you could even top stitch all that down. Yeah. Make that all neat. Then oh. what you do, you measure six it's six centimetres on the small bag. Yeah. And eight and a half centimetres on the big bag. Yeah. So you measure down with your pen and then you do a machine stitch. What did you just say? What measurements did you say? Nine six. and a half on the big and seven on the small. Yeah, but if you look on the actual oh. writing of the pattern, I think because she takes in the seam allowance, oh, six centimetres. Yeah, six. Yeah, so I, I yeah. checked that and I thought, hang on a minute, that it said seven and a half. No, no, you're right, Janice. You are right because they're taking the seam allowance off. So yeah. they measure. Six. It wasn't a very naughty word, Janice. I'm sure you could do better if you tried. That seems too long. What was? Can you the check big one. That? It says that seven and a half, but then take no seven, but take your centimetre off. So six. Six. Yeah. For the big one. For the small one. Yeah, but. Six centimetres. 
<laughs> yeah, not inches, Janice. I'm doing inches. I was thinking, <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> right I'll so just then. be here if anybody needs me. <laughs> <laughs> so then, get get your pen. Yeah. Your marker pen. This is where I will use a marker yeah. pen. And then measure six centimetres down. I was panicking then. I thought, hang on a minute. I could see nice. your face. and she, No, it's not six. <laughs> six, right? Yeah. And six. then your machine. Yeah. Man, that's six. But don't forget, this. all the top's been neaty. Just imagine I've pressed it and I've done all that with it. <laughs> right? And there. Then you... So then that will hold it in place. This is important, this. Oh, yes. Shh, shh, this is important. So this is important. Right, so I will do this now. Yeah. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. First time I did that, I remember they, they wondered what I was doing to the machine. You yeah. remember? Right, OK. So then... Needling, little reverse stitch, which it won't do. <laughs> and then just make sure, though, as you're going round, you keep press, pulling keep it, it flat. under and yeah. keep it flat. Because you don't want it not flat and it all. Yes, bunching up. You don't want it bunching up underneath there. But that will hold the basket in place yep. if you do that stem seams. Mm -hmm. See, I've never seen that before. No. And I thought, what's it asking me to do here? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because, yes, how many times you have a reversible bag where you turn it through and the lining is all flailing about everywhere? This yeah. is all so completely secure inside, secure. isn't it? Because of that stitching of that, of that seam. Stitching. Very clever. But it, isn't it Swedish, this design? Hmm? Isn't it Swedish, this design? Danish. Danish. Yeah, because they're good, aren't they? Yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> See, that's bunched up a bit, so just make sure that you, you, you could even hold it down with pins just to make sure yeah, it goes round yeah. right. That's it. So, bless Janice, this would make me say a few, few choice words too. <laughs> well done for making it while you're not well. <laughs> oh, it's lovely though, this design. So, there we go. Right, so, th so that Folds is it. it. Through, so, though. once it's done all through, then you just turn that round and get. Get your markings off, yeah. turn that round over to the top. And you've got your stitching. So you need a stitching that complements both fabrics. Yeah. So, or have your bobbin into your bobbin one colour and your main yeah. next. Yeah. And that's the other basket. Okay, just put that one next to it so you can see the difference in the size between the big one and the small one. Because there's quite that's a difference, one. isn't there? I think the little one would be the bread basket. Don't you think? Yeah. There you go. Definitely, look at me threads angling. Oh, Elliot would do the bread one in the big one, obviously, and the it butter in the way. little one. They are nice though, aren't they? So, and then if I turn it round the other way. Uh, John, you and Janice should be prescribed on the NHS as you're a tonic from Kathy oh. Ayrshire. That's nice. And then that's the other way. Do you want to see that one the yeah, other way? Yeah, go on then. There you go. Fantastic. They're Janice, thank bags, you ever so much. Nice. They're lovely for Christmas, uh, aren't they? they? So thank you. Could yeah. you. If you could just finish it off, I'll take it home. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. When are you in next? You know. Oh, blimey! At this rate. 18th of December. Oh, Christmas week. Oh, yes. week. Oh, exactly. A week before Christmas. A week before Christmas. Aww. And I've got a lovely bracelet, Christmas bracelet I bought. A bracelet just for Christmas. Yeah. That's for the show. outrageous. For the show. Yeah. It's like a charm bracelet. And it's got all lovely little things on. But you can only wear it to Christmas then. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know if I'm in on the 18th, am I? I'm on on the 20, I know I'm on 22, 23, 24. I might be in on the 18th. Right. Yeah, anyway, anyway, it's really lovely to see you. You get yourself <laughs> you better soon. Quick, very, very Thank quick. Um, oh, yeah, wave to wave, provide to Janice. See you. <laughs> right, very quick um, recap. Bundle that you were working with was this one. So that's grey um, bobble hat, red stars and free instructions. I just wait for Elliot to come from upstairs. He's not upstairs, his camera, I mean, there you go, right? That's the one that Janice was just working with. Then we've got the one that she'd already made. We've got the rose hips, the ice skating boots and the free pattern. So hang on, Sue says you're back on on my twin daughter's birthday. Aww. Get well soon, that's nice, isn't it? There you go, that's that one. And then this one that you didn't see at all, the beige, the blue, and the pattern. Hmm? Do not let it pass you by. 
If you want all the fabrics, you can have them in a bundle, Christmas bundle. Single figures for that bundle now. Single figures for that bundle. There you go. Oh, so Elliot would make a loop on here so you can hang it and put cats in it. Cats. Cats. <laughs> right, okay. Right, we've got to, no, come on quickly, you've got to go. Um, in, uh, what's that thing called? Menu for tomorrow. Menu for tomorrow. Bundles under £15 at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Riley Blake, exquisite quilt with Emma Bradford. 10 o'clock, quilting supplies and Riley Blake, exquisite collection. 11 o'clock, Riley Blake, there's lots of Riley Blake tomorrow. Riley Blake, woolen flannel quilt. Now, if you buy both of those quilts, you get a discount. Look on the email you've been sent. Watch yarn late. No, you haven't got yarn late tomorrow. What's the last hour? Ah, it's nothing on my screen. Clearance. Clearance, clearance, clearance in the last hour. Why is the free view? Right, the one, other one gone blank as well. I, now, don't go anywhere. We're going to Yarn Lane now. Uh, Vanessa's in. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Vanessa's beautiful. And so are the projects, right? Vanessa lives in my village. Uh, anyway, if you bought something for me this morning, your P&P is paid for this afternoon. If you've never been to Yarn Lane before, do come along. If you want to log in, it's exactly the same login details. Have I said, if you've bought something for me, your P&P is paid for. If you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or the internet, no, what's the other one? YouTube, Facebook, or... Uh, basically, if you're watching on the internet, you need to swap over and find the Yarn Lane one. If you're watching on telly, stay where you are. We will see you on Yarn Lane in four minutes from now. Thank you, Janice. Goodbye. <laughs>